619. Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. They want to do a couple things while waiting for you. Okay, you just do this great. Yeah. Okay. Right, so we're not in session? Not yet. So we have a motion to approve the transfer of county retirement to fire truck principal for $825 and the transfer of county retirement to fire truck interest for $64.77. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 To, do I need to list the amounts? Or? If they are supposed to actually be full reported, so okay. yes, we should. All right. Uh, I move that we approve the warrant um, FY23 22 AP for $458,564.76. The FY23-22 withholding warrant for $28,174.22. And the FY23-22 payroll warrant for $182,292.80. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Uh, so the first item on the agenda is Central Street Project, Traffic and Parking Impact and Project Management. So, um, we're looking for a, a couple of different items, I think. So, um, and Kelly, refresh me on the track and parking tag. Is there specific concerns about? I, I've been hearing a lot of people saying that the road is much more narrow because the extra sidewalk on the other side, so parking at an angle. Can't actually pull out because someone's parking behind, so we may need to uh, make that no parking on the other side. So oh, where the that was always tight, actually. I don't yeah. know that. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Think it's, it's, I don't think it's actually moved. I think it's just the curbs are higher because. It, it can be deceiving. The curbs are high now because there's still going to be an inch and a half of asphalt going on the, the main road, mm -hmm. um, and I. I got to look to remind myself the pave, the pavement marking plan may have that actually not designated for parking, but I have to double check. That's not. I, it's been a while since I looked at it okay. to see where the actual no parking zones are. And that's the feedback that I've gotten. Okay, and, that, yeah. and, and you had mentioned speaking to some of the workers about doing the alternative. Oh yeah, a question. A question came. A question came up because um, optional. 
I, I, yeah, that the that the sidewalk on the side of the street across from the town hall was actually an optional portion that was only going to get funded if we had the available funding. So, I, so yeah, so it was considered an alternate, and. Um, it was included in the, the pricing that we had, so it was bid. Okay. Why is it an alternate if it was included in the pricing? It was just the way it was bid, so we did have an option to do it or not do it. Okay. But at this point, it's been done because the, the rest of the project went pretty much as planned. Okay. It, it seemed, I don't know, maybe it was just my perception, but it felt like you had to come back a couple of times that the reason why we wound up allocating ARPA money was because there had been some pricing creep. And I don't know that that was ever presented as an option to us to include or exclude it in order to deal with okay. the, the cost creep. Okay. So it, it, it feels like there wasn't a full like options or courses of action presented. It was just that, hey, if we want to complete the project, I need X amount of money, with not the definition of our options are, A, don't do this portion of it, which could potentially mitigate the cost creep, or yeah. B, you know, allocate the money to do the full scope, um, you know, inclusive of all the, the, the options. Okay. So it, it maybe it's just a communication thing. Yeah, need yeah. To start getting stuff like that in writing because. Well, I just I kind of assumed that the whole project was approved as a whole, and only if we came up tight on the budget at the end that that would have to be excluded. I mean, the the, the whole amount of money from the. You asked for more money. What's that? But you did come up tight because you asked for more money. So there's two different parts of the project. There's a there's the contracted part, which is with precise paving, and then there's the the street paving, which is done through us, the town. So there's two different things here. There's the contracted amount, and then there's the paving. The contract amount price really can't change by much. The price increase is on the paving end, which is um, which does has have some ability to move in price through our contract. So they're effectively two, this project has two separate contracts or has, the project can be split into a part that was con that was contracted out and then there's another part that will be funded through town, the town doing it. Is that, yes, am I hearing which, you correctly? Which was designed to save money because mm -hmm. our pricing is much better than what we would have got through putting the whole entire project out to bid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that was the goal. Okay. Yeah. It's it's just my my thought is that if we if it if the entire cost of the project um, the part that was contracted out plus the part that we're do, doing ourselves was looking to come in over budget it's like I would have um, I I would have liked to have heard that we, there was an optional part of the project that could have been that we could have considered cutting out um, maybe we wouldn't have maybe we would have yeah but just I, not not getting that option is. Some, I, I wish we would have had that. Okay. Yeah, finding out after the fact that, that there was a decision to be made that, that um, especially if it was going to have like cost impact, you know, that's, that's something that probably should have been brought up a level. All right. Do, do, can you, can you, I am curious, and you can just, if anyone else wants to know, they can get in on it. What was the what was the width of the roadway before the construction project started, and what is the width of the roadway, or what will be the final width of the roadway when the project is done? Because I I also feel that it's narrower. Yeah. I would often I, I park on that side of the street often just because I, I find it more convenient, and I don't remember a sidewalk that wide being there. I don't I honestly don't remember a sidewalk, but I don't remember where I put my car keys half the time, so. Yeah, the, so yeah, the road is a little bit narrower. Mm -hmm. it, it was gonna be from the start. Um, that's partly because we had to put in a shared use path because there was not room in the road to use a bike lane down the full length of Central Street. Mm -hmm. That's a requirement for the complete streets funding. Mm -hmm. So to, to avoid that issue, they they widen the sidewalk in areas to make it a shared use path, which I think is the minimum is eight feet. 
Okay. So, okay. So the, the 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 bike the bike space will be on the sidewalk. Correct. And so that's yeah. Okay. Because at first I thought you I thought you were saying we were going to have to put a bike lane in there too, and I'm like, ah. But it's, no. No, they're on the sidewalk. There, there is portions that will be in the road. It's down there, on this end of the the road. It's using the sidewalk as a shared use path, and that's mm -hmm. what gets us basically to check that box that we have. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like a bike path. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and it's. So another thing that I'll mention is the diagonal parking is not marked out with paint yet. So the angle that the vehicles park will change how much room is in the road. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying, the angle. So, so we might sacrifice one spot to keep the ones on the other side by taking a more acute angle with the... With correct. The, the, the angle, because any if you just pull up there randomly, your angle might not be the same as what's going to be eventually marked out. And that could be creating a little bit of a problem right now with with the way cars are parking. Mm -hmm. So okay. the, the road is in fact going to be a little bit narrower mm -hmm. in, in spots, but um, we had to fit all this into the scope of the project to get the funding. So yeah, it's, there's, there's all much, only so much space between the property boundary on each side that's of the road. The thing. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yep. Do we, um, are we giving any consideration to as to what angle we mark those parking spaces out in front of the building in order to um, avoid overly impinging on the travels? Yeah, the travel that's lane? actually a, like a standardized um, angle, and it's on the. We have a pavement marking plan, and that it'll be marked out to to spec or whatever. And I don't know what the exact yeah, measurements. But, it, but it, it's been there. There's a there's a there's an angle in mind that takes into account um, yes proper parking practices and making sure there's enough travel space. Yep. Yeah, and the road is designed to accommodate two 12-foot lanes, travel lanes. Yes. In addition to parking in on Correct. our side of the street, Correct. Uh, does that envision parking on the uh, on the south side of the street uh, across from Town Hall? I don't know that answer right now. Okay. I need to and, look into that. And I guess my other question is, I know uh, when I was parking today on the other side of the street, I noticed that we had those bulge out curbs at the yeah. corner. I, I don't know what the right term for those is, but I'm guessing that the um, the travel way is from the maximum protrusion of the curb. Um, yes. Okay. But the, the reason for those bump outs is because of the um, the the, the right of way varied and and um, it wasn't as wide in areas, so that's why they had to do that to make it all fit. Mm -hmm. Okay, because I know there's a uh, there's an intersection in Westbrookville where they put those in also, and I have I've popped a tire on one of those. I don't. I'm not. Yeah. A, I'm not a. I'm not a fan as a driver, but it's if they're necessary, they're necessary, and I'll just yeah. not, try not to hit them. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's that's part of it. Mm -hmm. They have different curbs, and and that's just they they have to design it all to work and meet all the requirements. So. Mm -hmm. That's that's why there's probably a professional engineer stamp on those plans that's somewhere because right. there are yep. all those rules that need to be exactly. adhered to. Questions about the lane painting? They requested so the highway department requested more money for line painting this year because line painting for Central Street wasn't included in the budget. That's why. Oh, that's right. For the project. Yeah. So was there a reason why we didn't include the line painting in the budget? It, it is in the budget, and it will be initially painted um, when you do a line pavement markings on brand new asphalt, the asphalt like sucks the paint right in. So so the extra money is actually for next Assuming June. That next year you're gonna have to redo that. Correct. Even though it's brand new. Oh yeah. Or, or it, it because sucks. It's it. brand new it sounds like if you take a look at the paint down at the end that was done last year, mm -hmm. it's like it's bad right now. So that's just planning ahead for next June. Okay. Yep. Alright, that's helpful. Mm -hmm. Yep. It made it sound like. No, I, I, I knew that could be misunderstood, yeah. Okay. All right. Are there any other questions? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm going back to the overruns, and it's probably too early now, but do we have what was approved, or do you have what was approved originally? And do we have what, what point do we review that or check on it? when I have a final invoice for the work that's been done. Okay. So I, I don't um, I don't know where it's at right now. They're just they're going to complete this work in like yeah. the next week or two. So we'll have a final invoice to see if we're right there or save some money. I, I don't know exactly right now. 
because I'm concerned about the overruns yeah. as well. Um, so let's do this. Let's put it on the uh, June. Yeah, June. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. When is the completion date? Uh, uh, there isn't an exact one. Okay. I mean, uh, well, I'm just concerned with the Memorial Day parade coming up. Is, uh, uh, the road is not going to be paved, final paved for Memorial Day, unfortunately. Okay. Any issue? So maybe the end of June because any issue with the will be done by then. He's not going to have his invoices okay. for at least two to three weeks. Yeah. After right. the project is finished, so and then and then you may want to look at July. Let's, yeah, probably put it on the agenda yeah. for the first week of July. Give them work time to get done. Okay. Just a question as a, as a citizen. So we think there's going to be an overrun, but we don't know. Is that the, the, the idea, or is it, we know there's going to be an overrun? Um, right. like, like the idea is that at one point, probably about four to six weeks ago, Ryan brought in a request for some ARPA money to cover what they expected to be an overage because of um, pricing changes that occurred between the time that the grant money came in and the finalization of the project. Um, and so what we're asking them for is basically a, you know, functionally a, a blow by blow of, of where the excesses wound up. From the yeah. So. And then, uh, Ryan, as a uh, follow-up question to you um, on uh, what Jeff's asking about, if I understand you correctly, um, the contract, the the third-party work that we contracted out, is you're expecting that to the final cost to come in pretty close to the bid, and that the majority of the cost increase of this project is the part of the project the town's doing, um, not the part that was contracted out to whoever the vendor is. So, is that right? Yes. Okay. And that's that's an unknown. Like I don't I don't know that this project's gonna go over right now because I don't have paving numbers for this year yet. In terms of cost of asphalt yes, specifically? Yes, because they have escalation built into our base bid price. Mm -hmm. So depending on where that is right now, I don't know. I don't have paving numbers for this year yet. I believe it could be about the same as last year, which was $20 higher than our base bid per ton. Mm -hmm. So basing it on that, we're going to go a little bit higher than expected. Um, I don't know what the original, I forget, I'll have to look at some notes, but I did ask to use ARPA money on the project initially. Um, I just don't know what that exact number was mm -hmm. at this point. So I don't think we're talking about a ton of money, but it is going to, it could potentially be a little bit over. Okay. Yeah, you're going to ask for $197,000 to cover the gap on Central Street? Yeah. So, and I guess that's the number that we're not quite sure we're going to spend all of it or not. Right. No, we're not. Probably not. All right. I'm um, looking ahead um, for this project. Um, when it's all said and done, I would be uh, curious to know um, how much we budgeted uh, for both the uh, the third the contractor part and the town worked part, and then how much those came in at at the end. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Thank you. I don't think I have any more questions. Anyone else? No. Okay, great. So, um, thank you. All right. Appreciate your <laughs> attendance and yeah. the information. Okay, let's go on. Uh, the next item on the agenda is to sign the cemetery deeds for lot 11A and 13D. Can I get a motion to do so? Make a motion to Sign the cemetery deeds for lot number 11A and 13D. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So everybody has a copy of the board. No, I just. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't really go to the no. PSD. I apologize pass this back down. for any disruption. <laughs> sorry. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Yeah. So 
I don't know if the advisory committee has had an opportunity to look at the whole board other than the SBC. I understand how this is set up. I was just okay. rearranging myself. Sure. Okay. Um, I don't know if you have you voted on the more articles or no. the money ones? Do you no, want to do I that tonight? Do you want to get, just go through the whole thing? Yeah, I was able to get a Bob a hard copy over the weekend, so he has had a chance to look at it. Okay. So I think everyone has had a chance to hopefully uh, look at it. How do you get to that? Oh, man. So, uh, I, I, so I apologize. So we, 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 have, we have to do it in the meeting. We don't well, have to do well we, can, we can try to do it. We can try to get through any that don't. So let's put it this way. Let's do this. Let's go through the whole warrant article by article. Let's try to do it somewhat of a speed version. Okay. For anything that advisory feels that they need more discussion, you can hold your vote for a future date. But if there are ones that are non-contentious, then we can try to knock them out today. Right. And that, that, that was my plan. I apologize. When I looked at the email string, I thought it said other, so I thought you were on. But anyway. Um, we have a meeting scheduled Thursday, if necessary, so we can go through the meeting every day by the end of the week. I wasn't sure what the timing is all, well, but Great. From, from our review, because Marty said it before yeah. on the initial, I don't think there's more than two or three that we might not be able to get a consensus on as far as voting. Okay, great. Thank so you. if you, uh, I can, obviously there's nothing financial other than Article 2, which would be the budget. Um, Article 3 is an unemployment expense. That particular one, the um, accountant would like us not to do it out of this year's money to pay for last year's bill. Because you said it's very cumbersome in an accounting way. She would prefer that we do it out of FY24's budget. Um, however, FY24's budget is like super tight, so I don't know if we actually want to do that. We have the money in FY23. It's just going to take a little more account. Well, and we already, did this already go to the town council? Because No. Oh, okay. No, you have to approve the warrant before I can send it to them. Yeah. Do we have enough free cash to do it that way? Because. So if we use up all. So right now, as it stands, we have. Because I, I, the department had meeting, the departments were very um, lenient and agreed to eliminate some of their requests. So, and I found out that the 19000 that I had put aside out of the free cash is actually not in this year's free cash because of when we receive it, it's next year's free cash. Oh. So that $19,000 is no longer a factor. So we currently have $30,779 in cash left over after all of these requests. Mm -hmm. it's, so you can do it. I would, I would prefer to n keep it off the fiscal year 24 budget because that will go into the tax rate. and effectively into the fiscal year 24 tax levy. Whereas if we paid it out, and if we were trying to pay it out of fiscal year 23, because that money's already been levied, and if we do it out of fiscal year 23, that's just going to mean more free cash rolls over. So from a levy okay. standpoint, it seems simpler just to take it out of free cash yep. and then let more money from fiscal year 23 roll into free cash. It's a net, there's no net difference after the free cash comes in that's for next true. year. However, if you don't take this yeah, you can do that. Yeah, as long as, long as yeah. there's enough free so cash. My concern is the difference in the, in the potential difference in the police contract. But we can do a special when the free cash is certified at the end of the year to roll that into. So that is, yeah. So if you want to take it out of free cash, yeah. The 8,024 free cash? Is that what you said? Uh, well, out of this year's free cash, the current well, yeah, free cash. Yeah, the is that fiscal? That's 24, yeah. Oh, okay. I, I think of it differently, but thank you for correcting me. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, you, you only have until June, July or June 30th, 30th to spend this free cash. So right. It is technically this year's free cash. Yes. And this year's fiscal year, and yeah. this is fiscal year 23. But, but we can't spend it. We don't. But we normally spend it on FY 24 obligations. Mm -hmm. So I get, I get, yeah. Yeah. So take it out of FY, no calendar year. Free cash is in here. So, and my recommendation would be to go ahead and just change it to the generic language, and then we'll make the motion be free cash. Okay. The motion sheet is done for the meeting, so um, we did that. 
this afternoon. So I can just change this. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, so can I? Do you want to do one at a time, or do you want to sure. go them in blocks? Mm. Um, that's entirely up to the boards. Yeah, I would uh, prefer if we could do it e each okay. one because I'm already confused between three and four. I wasn't sure we were discussing both of them. No, we were just talking over it. We haven't even said a word about four. Okay, I heard 8,000, that's why I... I right, yeah. 8,000 is our history. Yeah. Yeah, you need the other. Um, it's changed from the Friday night. No, that actually so shouldn't sorry. be different. Oh, we don't want it because the numbers. So, yeah. The one that I said, you didn't have any numbers so, in it. So, 8,000 is our three. So, what happened to $147? One got removed. That one got removed. Because it was it got me out of another account, and I found that out of the okay. department meeting on Thursday. That's okay. So is Article Three changing? Um, it's going to just the change. Is yeah, the change language will change to uh, we'll vote to transfer, or you can just make it to we'll vote to raise appropriation for bar. That will be the language that will be in the article, but the motion will say to transfer from free cash. So, so um, I can I get a motion to uh, 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 recommend Article Three as amended? Uh, I I move that we um, recommend Article Three as amended. Second. All in favor? All right. Aye. Aye. I would like to decide to be Thursday. All right, well, then let's make a notation as what we, what we think. Are there any discussions that you want to ask? No. Okay, we'll vote on Thursday. You guys are going to vote on Thursday. Yeah. Okay, so we'll just do ours then. Mm -hmm. uh, Article 4 is a transfer of 40,000 uh, water department to water department. It's tax neutral, and it's for their capital improvements. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh. I I move that we recommend Article 4 as written. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 So the ambulance one changed. Okay. I received an email from uh, the fire chief who said in his email that the budget is supposed to go up four and a half percent because of call increase, three percent going to salary. So what I did was I increased the set by 3% and then I did the difference and increased their expense to make it overall 4.5%. He was only talking about wages, which I did not know because that was not the way it was couched. Mm -hmm. So when I reread it, I sent him an email and said, could you please just send me numbers because I'm not understanding what he said in the meeting. So what you're seeing in there is the revised numbers. They are looking for the 48.5 for the annuals reserved for their expenses and then it's a 4.5% increase on the um, salary, salary, which is a 3% increase in wages and a 1.5% increase due to increased calls. So they're going out more, so they need more. Right. Want to move those two as a block? Yes. I move that we recommend Articles 5 and 6 as written. Um, Article 5, $48,500. Article 6, $260,590. Um, both um, funded by transfer from the Ambulant Receipt Reserve Account. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. This one you've seen before, and I have the line. Can they just talk about why it's coming out? So, yeah. Is that a chunk of questions for the Will these changes be available for our meeting at Thursday? Will you have time to get this up in? Yeah, I don't see why not. Yes? Thank you. I'll make sure I include you in the email. So, uh, why are we here, not just straight out in the front? Because one thing doesn't always happen in seasonally. Oh, so you don't expensive. want them to. Yeah, our goal is to roll up. Oh, there we go. All right. Yes. Um, okay. Article seven, which is to um, uh, fund uh, 
$9,000 for center line painting of town roads. I move that we uh, uh, recommend the article as written. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And that the intention is that will be a free cash transfer. That'll be funded from free cash is the plan, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah, all of these numbers are, are yeah. currently funded from free cash. Um, um, uh, Be Beth? Unless, As receipt, unless it specifies the receipts account. But um, yeah, like okay. the ambulance is not free cash. Right? So, that un so that unless, can, as, a con as a convention, unless otherwise um, described, any funding amount is free cash, yeah. and we will only call out the exceptions to that, either a transfer or if there's a raise appropriate in there, we'll do that. Yeah. All right, thank you. So, uh, Article 8 is $25,000 to the road improvement account. All right. You could save time if you just say motion to accept as written. Okay, motion to accept as written. You have it. Sir? All in favor? Aye. 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 Article 9. Wait, uh, is there actually right. zero on Hold on. And, uh, can I invite the, uh, the uh, advisory committee to, uh, to speak up at any time they have any questions or concerns? And otherwise, we'll just work through these? Yeah, otherwise, we're just going to... Yeah, I, I know. Yeah. All right, so the 9500 is supposed to protect the clothing. This currently has like $500 in protected clothing account or something very similar to that. Okay, can, I get, can I get a motion to uh, recommend as... Uh, edited with an extra zero. Well, yeah, so the numbers won't be here, but 9,500 is the actual number. Yeah. All right, you have that motion for a uh, $9,500 motion, uh, article. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, article 18. I know, article um, 10. You, you had uh, article 10. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you had the uh, asked Peter <clears throat> to spend money on the rights he asked for 28 to take 10 current repair and replace, yep. which he did. Okay. So this is the 18. You also said you would prefer to have this put back in repair and replace yep. where he can access it from there. So that's why the article is written for that sum in that way. Okay. That's fine. So so when he went ahead, he already did the break repair. He's or he ordered them the day I said, please do this out of this account. He was like, it's ordered. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay. So that's great. Um, so, uh, did, can I get a motion to uh, recommend the article as written? You have the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, Article 11. This um, is just reevaluating the expenditure limits. This is something you have on here every year, mm -hmm. and the zoning board feels is added to this. Mm -hmm. And recreation, although it hasn't appeared in the warrant in several years, has a revolving account, so it's included in the warrant this year, and the recommended amount is 25000 by the accountant. Okay. So can I get a motion to approve the mm -hmm. or to recommend it as written? Uh, you have that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Article 12, we're going to be rescinding some borrowing, um, and and that is for the purposes of paying it off. So. Yes, and, and no, it's not to pay it off because we didn't borrow it. Oh, so it's just mm -hmm. freeing up our ability to borrow. Yeah. And this number I'm not going to be taking out of the warrant. That's fine. Right. It'll that's just fine. be in the motion. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Um, it's, it's the other things that, that for some reason always seem to change but yeah. right at the last second mm -hmm. or we have some need to adjust it. So, um, Can I get a motion to uh, recommend it as written? Uh, you have that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. And so then we've got Article 13 to raise it. Appropriate transfer of borrow sums of money for longevity pay. This would this one we intend to do is raise an appropriate. Um, your longevity, I you have a couple of options. I did not include the police department because I don't know that they get longevity or if it's mm -hmm. part of their contract. And I didn't include the total for the um, library director because hers is in the budget as a separate line item. Right. So the total without those factors would be 13,100. Okay. 
I would, my inclination is that for the library, the library director's um, new contract specifies a longevity bonus, I believe. And if the uh, new police union contract specifies a longevity bonus, those should be in the operating budget since they are contractually obligated. Yes. And that, I agree with that. and so I'm, I'm comfortable with leaving those out of the number in this warrant article and dealing with them through the operating budget <clears throat> as now, needed. what about the rest of the police department? I know that the chief has longevity, but what about mm. the officers? Is it's, that it's in the current contract. Okay, and I know that the chief puts that in his budget because he gave me the bottoms of budget that included longevity. Mm -hmm. It's in his wages it's line? In his wages. Okay. So, so he's. Even though they get yeah. it separately and not as part of their wages, it is yeah. in his actual budget. So mm -hmm. that's one other reason that it So 13 1 is the number one. Okay. And then, well, however that the contract shakes out, we'll then uh, need to uh, figure out the funding for that account or truing it up after the fact. Yes. If we don't put enough money in. Okay. All right, so. I have that as an RMP. All right, then uh, I, uh, I've, I move that we recommend Article 13 with the amount of $13,100 uh, $13, uh, as a raise in appropriate amount. Second. All right, uh, quick discussion. Sure. Mm -hmm. Verbiage does the amount, uh, where one of the asks I have that's not reflected yet is to take the, the, the dollar values out of the articles and then put them in the motions. Um, are, are we still planning on doing that? Or yes, the motion sheet includes all of the numbers. This is only here for tonight's meeting for you to see them in place and to vote. Yes. Okay. Um, I just wanted to point that's, out. I'm, I'm, I'm good with that, but I, at town meeting and at the budget hearing, uh, can we provide those numbers in a handout with article number this much, article number this much, it, so that matter, people can see goes, what the amount is? It just is. goes below the warrant article as far as, um, Oh, in the descriptive text? Okay, so it'll be in the book. That's, that's what I, 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 it needs to be in front of the people uh, I, in advance. I totally agree with yep. that. I just, I just have heartburn with how many times we've burned ourselves by having it in the actual warrant and then mm -hmm. having some like trivial change that then becomes a, a nightmare to correct on the floor. Understood. So um, we'll have yeah. it somewhere visible to you. Mm -hmm. yep. I just really, yeah. it's almost like a religion yeah. with me. I don't want it in the actual warrant. <clears throat> That's in several of the articles that uses the phrase up to X amount of dollars. Is that what you were intending? Some of these say up to so many dollars. We're not up to those yet. We're not up to those yet. So that was that sounds like a request. Um, no. Okay. No. Honestly, because sometimes it's a little bit more, sometimes it's a little bit less, sometimes it's some. Yeah. I cannot tell you how many times I've seen these things change. For, for good and responsible reasons, and then wind up with our, our, our risk literally tied because of the way the more article is written. So, um, okay. So, pay cable, pay cable $70,000 from pay cable um, from the receipt reserve fund um, for net zero. Yeah, that's a net zero. So, can I get a motion to approve it as written? You have that motion. Sorry. All favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Um, okay, so we need to create an, an opioid. Okay. Yeah. Uh, article 15 is the, the flower beds. Oh, <laughs> we're growing poppies. <laughs> <laughs> poppies, poppies, poppies. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly's funding her retirement plan. <laughs> okay, so we're going to create an opioid opioid retirement plan. Um, all right, so Article 15 is a raise and appropriate, and what happened is that, and I'm explaining this, I already explained this to the select board, this is for the um, advisory committee's information. The people who do the flowers have come to us and said they don't want to pay money to do it anymore, it's getting too expensive for them as a club to put them out. So they, I asked them for what they thought it would cost, and told them I would go to more and I would to see if we would fund they can change the issue of putting flowers on the common in the boxes and around the so They came with a very specific number. <laughs> they came with a very specific number. And, and it wasn't a huge 
numbers, so, so <laughs> I'm not like I'm trying to take the town for a ride. But it is a raising appropriate because this is something that I would imagine people would want to do on an annual basis. Mm -hmm. you know, it's not a capital expenditure, clearly. So I'm wondering, does that mean I get a tip for watering flowers by the museum? Yes, I think you should. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Probably one yeah. of yeah. Yeah. Um, Kelly? Yeah. Just, um, Administrative question. I know that the law allows us to fund a wages account through a warrant article initially, but then after that, the wages have to be funded through the operating budget. Are we going to be looking at something similar here, whereas if we want to fund this in future These years? Wages. This is the expenses of buying the flowers. No, no. Okay, then that's what I'm trying to understand if that's a material difference. And so, therefore, we can have a warrant article like this every year. Yes. Okay, we did. okay that's what I was trying to understand. Thank you. Because it really is an option. It's kind of a that's, I know, but that just the, the law doesn't mean it has to be easy. That's true. Good point. Right. So can I get a motion to approve or to recommend Article 15 as written? You have that motion. Second. All in favor? All right. Aye. 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 Article 16. Um, Twelve thousand dollars for the Bobcat mower. Can I get a motion to? I've done. Any motion for discussion, or do I talk now? Uh, let me get the motion and we'll do the discussion after the motion. So can I get a motion to recommend uh, Article 16? You have that motion? Sorry? For discussion. Yeah, this article brings up something I wonder if, <laughs> if a procedural change is needed when articles like this are created. So here's what happened. I, I had seen this article the last meeting where you proved went through the last time. And I happened to be in class, and I looked in their biggest zero-turn mower, mower, huge mower, eight thousand dollars. So I'm thinking, hmm, why, why are we appropriating twelve thousand dollars? Because I don't think those are commercial grade. So, because you can like, easily spend twelve hundred. Oh, exactly. <laughs> so then I happened to be at the transfer station, so I asked Jim, and I said, Jim, you know they want to want twelve thousand dollars for a mower? We, we shouldn't spend more than five. So I'm like, well, wait a minute. No one's talking five, eight, or 12. So the issue in my mind becomes, is there a need for a review of what the requirement specs are or maybe a preliminary quote when something like this gets generated so that we're somewhere in the ballpark of what needs to be purchased? Because it's, it's too late after the fact the money's appropriated. Well, the, mon the, the fact that the money is appropriated doesn't, me ne doesn't, nece doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be spent. I mean, it'll probably be spent, but it doesn't have. <laughs> it's like, I'm, I'm going to bow to reality there. It's appropriate. They're probably going to look for the best mower they can get for the amount of money that gets appropriate. I will tell you that, yes, you can find a zero-turn mower for five grand, and you can find a zero-turn mower for 50 grand. Twelve grand is somewhere. But, but I'm telling you the opinion of the guy who works at the cemetery. So, you know, that's why it had more of an impact on me. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. But the, I, I don't, it's like, I, I would think that this would be an appropriate question for the cemetery commission for an understanding of what equipment they had in mind and how they budgeted. Yeah. I mean, and, to be frank, what I did when I saw this article was I looked up what Bobcat zero turn mowers specifically run. Mm -hmm. And a lot of their a lot of their models are much higher than that. That's like the lowest base model of like Yeah, that you can't get a commercial grade zero term for and usually under 10. Under 10, yeah. <laughs> and so look at how long it's lasted. Well, I was going to say it's almost 20 years. 20 years. Yeah. yeah, right? So, so, so it's, a, it's a case of we could probably spend five grand. And I understand what you're saying. The requirement might be, hey, we want it to last five years. Or if the requirement is we want it to last 18 years. Right? We might have to spend five grand well, every six and, years. And of course, there's other requirements I'd be maybe unaware of, like edge trimming and, and things like that. I don't want anything about. So, um, so I think the short answer is, it, it, when it came to us to pass the reasonableness test, because, right, there's one at Clems for 8K. I saw some online for 30K. Mine's 3,600, and I wouldn't want to go down to the cemetery with it. Right, okay. <laughs> so, um, I, I think historically we're a small enough town that we, we try to at least do the sniff check on it, but... Yeah, and that's what I'm asking. When does the sniff check happen? Like what dollar amount? 
Well, I believe the sniff check happens here. Yeah, the sniff, is the that, sniff check happened here. We all basically took a look at it based on our experience. We, I didn't blink at yeah. 12K for a commercial grade mower, to be frank with you. But, so. but I don't mean just, I'm just using this one as an example, mm -hmm. not wondering how many cases of this do we run into when we're making these articles or getting these articles and reviewing them. I, I think the, ge the general case applies here that we, it's like for all of them, it's, it's, this, is, this is where the review happens. I mean, on the part of the select board and on part of the advisory committee. We, that's one of the things we rely on you is to look at these things and to bring them to our uh, t attention when you guys have a concern. Right, but this used to be the capital improvements committee, mm -hmm. which that was where we were working mm -hmm. in parallel for projects such as this 5,000 and up, and then that, mm -hmm. that is not sort of well, because of, because the capital improvement committee basically we haven't been able to staff it. That that right, bonus fell that. back on functionally fell back on us. Right, but I'm we, saying that's we, where it normally would right. fall. Right, and, and at this point we reached out to the department heads. They put in their requests, and and at the time yeah. that we received it, we, you know, I, I'm. Hmm. Every single person at this table has the, the, their certain triggers with regards to fiscal conservatism. Okay, <laughs> so um, right. everybody, every functionally, unfortunately, right now that sniff check is here. Okay, if we ever get to the point where we've got more than four of you and can actually staff a capital improvement planning committee, maybe we'll 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 do it in a more structured manner. But I'm going to tell you that that didn't even twig after I did a couple Google searches. So. Um, I respect the question, but and I understand it's a procedural question, but we have a really long warrant and we have a yeah, really yeah, short yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, Okay, good, and I'm done to you. Mm -hmm. uh, did I get that motion? Um, I yeah, believe I you got the motion because then we had the discussion under it. Aye. Aye. Okay, so Article 17. You had asked what they were going to pay. They are just going to repave the four roads they currently have paid. They just want to fix it. Okay, so that's really a maintenance or paving. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the ones that says up to. Yep, because it costs less, they don't, they don't spend it. That's why it says up to. Yeah, but you, in your last discussion, you were discussing reducing to 30000 to pay for one of the roads. Because we thought we had $100,000 more in request than we did in free cash. Yeah. Um, we Kelly, yeah. is the up to language really only appropriate in a, appropriate in a borrowing context? Because with, with, a, with a warrant article, we say up to. Well, who decides, if it says up to $60,000, who decides how much really goes into that warrant article account? They have $60,000. They can spend up to that amount. If they don't spend it, then they don't spend it. Okay. That, Okay, that's, I, I, I understand the mechanic. It just seems to me that if they have $60,000 to spend, we need to transfer $60,000, not up to $60,000. We need to transfer $60,000 so into the warrant article account. If they get a quote that comes in at 59, mm -hmm. they, we don't have to go back and refocus. If you put in a specific amount, then okay. you, they're, they're hamstrung by that specific amount. Or then the money's stranded in the warrant article account until we voted out because the project's done and they have some leftover money? The warrant article, once it's been expended at the end of the year, there's an opportunity to roll out anything that's in the warrant article that wasn't used. So so say we buy a cruiser and we have 50000 for a cruiser, mm -hmm. but we get a great trade, so we only need thirty. Mm -hmm. At the end of the year, the accountant said, do you still need this money? You no, know, this, this function was achieved with this much money. That then rolls into free cash for the next year. Okay. Don't okay. Load it out so, so when a warrant article has um, achieved its purpose, it can be the, the there's a there's a normal administrative process to deconstruct it, and any money that's left over flush comes out yes. and goes into the uh, the following fiscal year's free cash. Correct. So, all of them are kind of up to. Really. Yeah. So, yeah, functionally, but this, functionally they are, but, but mm -hmm. if. if so if we don't say up to and it comes in at fifty thousand, they can't do it because it says sixty thousand. So like they can't find a lawnmower for eleven thousand five hundred. If it's a project, if it's a if it's a bid, if it's a quote. This is a bid, so that's why it's different. This oh, the quote, uh, this, yeah. purchase. This, so that's okay. The oh, so the so the so in this case, the warrant article won't be funded until there is until the 
we have a bid and we're ready to award the project, in which case we have a, an, a clear idea of how much money is needed, right. which is different than the article for purchasing the lawnmower. Which is we, a set price, yes. Okay, okay that, that is the distinction I didn't see in there. Thank you. Great, are we good? So, I'm great. Okay, can I get a motion to recommend it written? Uh, uh, you have that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Um, this one, Dan said it's going to come in much higher than 20, but they can split the project between the two years, and so 20 is fine. Ew. Okay. So they can do it in phases. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they can do it in, they can do it in two phases of 20,000. It's like, is the second phase going to be about the same or less? They won't until they go up to bid for the second phase, which they're only going to do what they can with the joint. So they're not asking okay. for any more money. No, I, I understand. I'm just wondering. It's like, are we starting a project that's going to need twenty? That's going to need a hundred thousand. Are we putting twenty thousand dollars to a hundred thousand dollar project? We're we putting twenty thousand dollars to a forty thousand dollar project. I'm, no, we have no quotes yet. Okay. And once we get the quotes, we'll have a better idea of mm -hmm. what we'll need to do. Lovely. But we do. But I believe this is being driven by a mass general law. Or by DEP. DEP regulation? DEP regulations state yeah. that, that all waters to public facilities, regardless of whether or not they're going in the grass or going in the person, have to be um, human quality oh. potable water. Yeah, I mean, so, no lead pipes anymore. Right. Yes, I think that's the specific issue. The pipes there have lead or are expected. Yes. Mm -hmm. <coughs> all right. Yeah, so, can I get a, a motion to? Um, Recommend it as written. Um, you have that motion. Second. And Kelly, since this is a project, would this be, uh, be appropriate for the up to language also? No, because they're spending the full 20. Okay. The, in, the, the, the intention is they're going to get as much done as possible with that money we give them, so they're going to fully spend. All right, thank you. Um, I'm good. Okay. So, uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 All right. So, uh, Article 19, $2,500 specifically for the maintenance of uh, private roads. <coughs> so, can I get a motion to mm -hmm. uh, recommend it as written? You have that motion? Second. And quick question um, Is this stuff, is, is Ryan going to control and put this gravel down, or is it? Yeah, okay, yeah, that's like, yeah, which is only there for convenience. It explains how this is going to work. And once the gravel for this year is gone, it's gone. Mm -hmm. But at least now the residents have somewhere to go to ask for repairs for the road. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I remember we discussed that. I just couldn't remember that detail. And there was so much text here. Do you want to do the um, raise the appropriate or do this for free cash? That's an interesting question. Where are we? <laughs> What's that? I said, where are we? Because free cash doesn't impact the Yeah, so I, I would be inclined to do it from free cash, especially where it's right. public, private road work versus public road work. I, I feel similarly. All right, and that's where I took it out of. So the total I gave you earlier actually included this, but I just wanted to double check mm -hmm. before yeah. I done. Okay. Okay. That's, that's where I would be inclined to, to place it. So. Um, Discussion? Sure. Um, I, I'm just curious, I wish Ryan were still here. I don't know how much the highway department does in their, or has done in the past few fiscal years regarding this type of activity, like rebreaking the road twice a year. Um, I would like to know if it's going to have any impact on the amount of hours he needs in this department, but we are going to find that out now. Yeah. Um, and they, they really do it as resources are available. I mean, historically speaking, it's like the lowest totem pole item on their agenda. But if it's needed for public safety reasons, then they, they take the time to do it. So, and plus there's a lot of requirements. If you notice, they've got to get, I, I know there was one year where they were doing this stuff on Draper Street to get access to the water supply stuff, and it took them a while to get the last of the approvals. So it happens, but it typically happens at the at the convenience and, and for the benefit of the town. If that makes any sense. Well, just with perspective, I know East Brookfield is discontinuing that service 
um, be concerned with people living in a red paper road. And that's really what they did. The town used to scrape that. They don't have a scraper anymore. And they're not allowed to put fill there because of wetlands. So it's up to the owners to do whatever they yeah. do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, reading the uh, bylaw here is that the it, before this can be used, the abutters have to agree. The select board has to declare it necessary. So it's not like Ryan can. It's not like the the highway department can say, "Hey, we have some money. Let's go do it." There is some structure around the deployment of the uh, uh, the uh, of this gravel. Well, we have to sign waiver just for the snow plowing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm. I'm okay with this. Did you just vote that one? I, I don't think we did. Made the motion mm -hmm. and then step the second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, Article 20. Um, this is another up to because we don't know what the total is going to be based on what the interest will be at the time that we voted. Great. Mm -hmm. right. That's why it's enough. I'm just heading on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, <laughs> can I get a motion to recommend uh, Article 20? Uh, you have that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 This one was added, Article 21 was added from the last time you saw the warrant because we found out that we cannot use federal funds to supplement federal funds. Ew. So we have to do this out of free cash Got or it. the project is going belly up until a further date. All right. So mm -hmm. can I get a motion to recommend it as written? Um, you have that motion. Second. All in favor? Uh, Aye. Aye. Um, Kelly, does your free cash number, uh, the, the one you shared with us early in the meeting, include this $54,000 expenditure in it? It does now, yes, as of um, the total update. The total you gave us early in this meeting, thank you. Yeah, so you've got currently with the 8000 out is 22779 Mm-hmm. And so that is, but that means we have $54,000 of ARPA money now available for other projects. Yes, that could go toward the Three million dollar water project. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's a three million dollar grant. Yes, but but yes, it's a three, but it's it's a three million dollar grant, not three million dollars for us. Show the grant application. Yes. Okay. What is the grant application? That I do not know. That is a that is a Kathy slash Dennis question. Okay. So that gets us to 150, which is actually what he asked for. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's not perfect. Yeah. So even if East Brookfield doesn't want to contribute anything, we can still apply for grants. We still because we have a five percent match, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's just five percent. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. All right. Okay. Um, so then, uh, um, just no twenty-two, no twenty-one. Twenty-one, we're done. We're done. So twenty-two. Uh, see if the uh, can I get a, a motion to recommend. Uh, Article 22 for the UK to OPEB liability trust fund. You have that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 So you have Articles 23 and 24, which you discussed at the last meeting um, to establish the opioid settlement fund. It shows you in the notes currently how much we have in the opioid fund. And then the other one would allow, the Article 24 would allow. Uh, the town has spent it on our hand to continue to stock the um, which is actually the only thing that we can use it on anyway <laughs> because of the restrictions of the opioid itself. So you can hold those as a block if you like. Yeah. Kelly, would more uses of that money open up if there were a documented um, impact of opioids in the town? No, it wouldn't. Because okay, that's a different issue. Yeah. All right, thank you. I, I was just trying to see if those were separate or, di or the same. You were going to say it could probably stop the reason. Yeah, because he said thank you, so we can let me hear it. Got it. <laughs> 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 so we want to uh, yeah. vote to recommend 23 and 24 as a block. I made a motion to uh, recommend them as written. Um, you have that motion for 23 and 24. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, so then uh, the next one is to establish a group uh, capital special purpose stabilization fund. Because um, these three can be voted as a block as well. Okay, and it's $75,000. We're transferring the capital purchase into the group because that was intended for the school group, and then throwing another 75 in for the school group. So we'll have 150 of what did they say they were asking for? 300? 
When I initially spoke with Kathleen, and I don't know if this changed, they had intended to ask for help, and I, I suggested that the town would fund half. So whether or not they'll need more than that, I don't know. But we're also looking at grant opportunities for that as well. Mm -hmm. So can I get a motion to recommend Articles 25 through 27 as written? Uh, you have that motion? Second. All in favor? Okay. Aye. Aye. And then uh, we've got Article 28, which is $5,500 for a new Aki vote voting machine. Can I are these the, are these the, are these the, uh, machine, I'm sorry, you have that motion. Oh, to bring it. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, are these the, uh, AT, the annual town meeting voting machines, yes. like, yes. I, like I've heard described in Sturbridge? This is the brain of the machine. This is the, just the brain? The brain is separate from the machine, so No, I think, did you just say at the yes. annual yes. town yes. meeting? Yes. You mean yes. at the yes. election yes. that we just no. yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, Kelly? Uh, is is this for the annual town election like we had yesterday, or is this for the annual town meeting where everyone gets a little clicker? This is the annual town election. Okay, yeah. thank you. So it's a new it's a, it's a new scanner. Basically. Basically, yeah. It's, All right, it's thank the you. Part. It's, the, it's right. the computer I, that runs. I I have no questions. Great. So uh, all in favor? Right. Aye. Aye. All right. So. Gets uh, worn out after a hundred votes. <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Article 29. Uh, I need a, a motion to approve as written 9,000 for a new server for the police station. You have that motion? Second. Yeah. How long did the last server last? How long? Or what's the expected life frame of this server? It's not so much the life as it is the um, continued need to upgrade security. Okay. Well, I, that's well the func functional life, if not the how long. And, and, and actually, it's it's somewhere between what five and seven years old because the police station is what seven years old. Ten. Ten years. It's ten. That's why we had to go out tomorrow. Yeah. So uh, so the server's ten years old because that server came with the police station. Okay. No, oh, they like that. It feels That's like fine. yesterday, but I, don't know. Hey, I got a 13-year-old computer at home. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm, that thank you. That then answers my question. Okay. Uh, so then uh, we've got. Uh, okay. Do we so, have uh, Yeah. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 All right. So Article 30 is uh, see if the town will vote to create an assistant library director position to be added to the town's classification at grade five, based on. Actually, I'm not sure what grade it should be. It's, I, I think it should be grade. It's, it's a little higher than an administrative assistant, I think. Yeah, mm -hmm. which are grade four. So that's why I popped it in at grade five. I would look mm -hmm. at the salary range and just see what it is. I have no idea what they decided to pay her. So <clears throat> I, I reached out to Brenda for the information, um, and it is included in their budget. Okay. But it's not broken out. But it's not broken out, so I don't know how much there the difference is going to be. So hmm. there's that. I don't remember. Okay. We have the same issue we have approved a lot of the budget, so we don't have that. So what should we do if we can go on tonight? Well, 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 I'll tell tomorrow whether you vote on it or not, whether or not oh, we can change it on the floor. Yeah. Yeah. But the language well, is and, 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 and again, I keep advocating for having the numbers not be in the warrant article because you can put because it in the motion. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. So, yeah. so we can do every. We can say we recommend it, or we can say we don't recommend it. It's it's really yeah. this one. What is what is the process? Is this one really sponsored by us, or is it? Oh well, because it's creating the position that is functionally should probably should have been. Oh yeah, that should say library. Should say by the library trustees. Yep, yeah. you're right. Thank you for catching that. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, Beth, uh, what is the process for determining the amount that will go in the motion? Do we have? Will we vote on? Would we? Will we vote on the amount to go in the motion at a future meeting? We or, can. or on the floor? Or, or no. Typically, we don't. Budget. Yeah. yeah Typically, well. Yeah. I mean, fundamentally, we're just we're creating the position, and we would indicate 
in the motion that, mm -hmm. that to be funded from the library assistant wages, right? We don't even really, because functionally we don't technically even mm -hmm. need a number on that. We're just creating mm -hmm. the position in the yes. classification plan, yeah. right? And hypothetically, that money is already in the operational plan. Yeah. But, but, but I was some money associated with this mm -hmm. Warren article. It's really, it's really just authorizing the the the, the title and grade. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that the person can get paid the hourly amount associated with that position instead of a regular library assistant. Right, but if we if we go that route and we put the full amount in the operating budget, mm -hmm. and this fails, then effectively the operating budget is overfunded. Which you can yeah. go back and amend at the meeting. Yeah, we can either return okay. the line item at the meeting, or um, you know they 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 have an excess in the wages account that at the end of the year gets turned back into free cash. Mm -hmm. Either one is a perfect yeah, but way my, to my my under what what was what has been told to me in the past is that if the wages account is funded then it's implicitly or that they're authorized to spend it all and then in this case the the additional wages could be spent on additional hours for the existing employees at their no, existing time. Uh, but uh, as, but other assistants could be hired for more hours with that with that Overfunded line account, which is, I mean, it's it's a it's a minor concern. It's just I I like things neat and tidy. Well, I, when I put in the numbers for the budget, I reduced the library assistant wages to three percent, so it would still be a three percent increase. So they're gonna use the same number of people, the same mm -hmm. number of hours, and the three percent instead of the eight point seven. Okay, but then I, but then if the uh, position is approved, how do we fund the difference in salary for uh, yes, for the assistant. We don't know if there's a difference in salary. That's my point. Oh, they haven't? OK. I have no idea. If they, if they already pay yes. her what they want to pay her, they just created the job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't so, know. So and they, and they, may cut, they may cut assistant hours in order to um, pay the uh, the assistant director their desired salary. Mm -hmm. That's so, so at allowed. The, and, at the end of, and at the end of the day, the language the way it is, if, if there is a difference, basically this gives us until town meeting if we put in a sum of money, right? Mm -hmm. And then in the motion goes the sum of money, that means if there is a difference, it gives us between now and the town meeting to define what that sum of money is in excess of what's in the operational budget if there is a difference. Mm -hmm. And if there isn't, you can put zero. Mm -hmm. Zero, yeah. Yeah, and, but, but, that comes, but then that comes back to my question, how do we, as a board, decide how much to, what amount to put in the motion? Because we're approving language in the warrant, but, we're, but the money's not. I'm good with that. For, for as, as, yeah. sheet and making sure we're aligned on the exact values that go into right. that. I can live with that. So. Thank you. You're welcome. Beth? Yes. Correct me if my memory's wrong, but I remember at one time somebody saying that the creation of a new position by warrant was required or mandated by bylaw to also include the funding for that position. Is that true or not true? It says it has to be created and it has to be funded. It doesn't say that it has to be funded in a warrant article. So it could be funded in the operational budget but created in the warrant article, as long as it's in the same town meeting. It has to be in the same town meeting. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, did we vote that yet? No. No. Okay. No. I'm ready. Um, how are we making a motion to it? Uh, oh, do we, I thought we, um, I move that we recommend the um, article as written with the, um, with the amount going into the motion to be determined at, uh, undefined at this point in time. Second. Okay, well, I'm gonna amend it to read that this, including the sponsorship by the library trustees. Um, yeah, I I, that's uh, so amended. So amended, okay. Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Article 31 to uh, create assistant treasurer plus a position to be added to the town's classification plan. We're taking action there too. And then, what do we need to fund that then? Well, so the, the um, treasurer has an assistant from a clerk, one of them. And so does the collector, and those funds could be used for this position if, in fact, it's filled. I need the position created. What I'd like to do is get a um, 
a regional assistant treasurer collector. I'm going to reach out to a couple of other towns to see if they want to share one. And we can create a real job for somebody without it being burned on the idea of three towns. Any other three towns. So that's the goal. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know if it'll work. It may or may not. Twig. Mm -hmm. Can I get a motion to recommend? Uh, you have a motion to recommend Article 31 as written. Second. All in favor? Aye. Oh. Aye. Sorry. Oh, go ahead. Uh, yes. This is another one that we had a question on because we had, because the, the, um, uh, the collector's clerk position has been an open item and been able to fill it, we did not, we voted not to fund it this year. We can go back and revisit that and leave it open uh, due to this, if this does pass, I guess that would be the way so to look at the it. the treasurer does have some funding. Yes. Yeah. So the, the, the thought would be, the, the, the thought would be, the treasurer one is funded. Right, if we approve that, yes. And, and she's trying to get it to be a regional space, so we may have enough money to fund the treasurer. Fund. That was not my thought. I was also including the 1500 that Brenda asked for. Oh, you were, yes. Right. So, so, this so is, if you approve it or not, that and the budget, that, that's up to you. But I don't think this position will be created this fiscal year. I just yeah. need it so that I can start doing some start the process. So. Right, I mean, we were under the impression that it was just for the collector, so that's why we said we shouldn't end with her, we're just not going to do it because she's doing fine already. So if this is an additional thing, then we should go back and revisit that, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that was actually going to bring that up. That's one of the things we highlighted. We vote it. I mean, I, I, speaking as, as the chairman, as my own personal opinion, we should revote it, but yeah, uh, now I understand it. Mm -hmm. yeah. We can do that. Okay. Caitlin's like, we're going to speed date no, this on Sunday. No, no, she just, no. Yeah. But I, I mean, I want to make a clarification so when we get to the meeting, we know yeah. what we're doing, right? right? So this is a shared position. It's a treasurer slash collector assistant. So they would bounce between the two. Between the two salaries, we have, or the two wage accounts, we have enough funding for them to cover the vacation time, but who wants a job that's four weeks and you don't know when you're going to work? So that's why I want to. Right. No, no, but that, that, we, again, we, we were in favor of, of your situation before. We figured it's just it's impossible to fill it, so we weren't even going to fund it. But now, if it's a regional thing, we then. And, and maybe and the collector asked me to put her in as a sponsor as well, so that means that'll be added. As okay, great. Okay. Thank you. Is, is this a potential job that the all boards clerk, if funded, could do? Not unless you make the all boards clerk 40 hours a week. Well, you said it's only to cover four weeks out of the year, four weeks out of the year, right? But she's already at capacity. But she's already at capacity, so yeah. she can't just so stop right. working for the three boards and then go work for that. hours. <laughs> um, yeah. Work your shot? Yeah, I mean, if you want to make that position a much bigger position, then I don't see why not. And I know she's certainly smart enough to do the job. Right. And my preference would be to keep it in-house in your field, as opposed to a rotating individual who has ties to other towns. Well, that's not for today anyway. Yeah, that's a topic for another day. Uh, we're just creating the position at this point. The, the mechanics of how we're going to do it are a different topic for a different day. So, uh, Article 32. Did you vote that? Okay, we did. I'm the sorry. discussion was after we voted this. Yes, we were we were quick, and Jeff's like, wait. So, okay. So um, this next bylaw change is one I threw in. This is completely unnecessary bylaw. You have to follow Massachusetts general law whether you like it or not. If you have this bylaw, it doesn't change a thing. This is the actual law. If the law changes, now you have conflict with what your bylaw is and what the law is. So if you just eliminate it, follow the law, you don't need this. This is just a housekeeping thing. Okay. There's nothing else. Great. Can I get a motion to support the uh, Article 32? You have that motion? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. All right. And it looks like we've got uh, Article 33 to change advisory from 7 to 5. Yep. That was a request of the advisory. Yep. And uh, can I get a motion to recommend it? Can you stop for it? 
Oh, you have that. You have that motion. Second. Uh, quick, quick question. First, um, uh, uh, for the advisory board, um, there's a um, there's another article talking about changing the quorum rules, and um, you still you still want this article in the warrant, with full knowledge of the other article changing the quorum rules. With, with full knowledge of how many volunteer positions are open just now. Hmm. Okay. No, that's just wanted to make sure. Thank you. Um, I'm ready. All in favor? Aye. As long as we vote at the same time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then Article 34 is to amend our general bylaws to the quorum is a majority of the sitting members, regardless of how many um, is the target for that. Yeah. The, the fully equipped size of yeah. the committee. <laughs> So I make a motion to recommend that. Uh, you have that motion for Article 34? Second. All in favor? So it means like the advisory committee, would, I mean not the advisory committee, the cultural council, which has available, but they don't have. They have the potential to have up to 22 members. Right. If their committee is deciding to be, like right now they have 14 members there, or, or they had four members so members that were So their quorum that were is appointed. based on whatever they have for appointed people on. Yes, yes. So for elected, unless otherwise Is that the only committee that we have that issue with? No. No. The advisory committee right here is. Well, we just changed theirs to five. Seven. So <laughs> they are. They Two have, years ago, we were nine. So <laughs> the four of them have to meet every single time there's a meeting, and I don't have a quorum. Right. So with this, three of them could meet, and they would have a quorum. So somebody's sick, they actually don't have to attend a meeting. Well, we solved their problem, too, by going down to five. Mm -hmm. True. But, but <laughs> then in a worst-case scenario, if something happened right. and they only had three members, right. two of them could constitute a quorum. Mm -hmm. so. right. I mean, the only other way would be to have the, the Zoom call uh, somehow, whatever, like that thing the state did for the pandemic. Yeah. And the state actually took our power away from doing it. Right. So, I mean, I said this, this uh, I mean, I've spent so much time trying to schedule and coordinate. Uh, you know, <laughs> and hopefully that will be the end of that. Yeah. yeah. That was the goal. I mean, so that these boards and committees could find them. Should be weak. Uh, okay. Yeah. We're good? Okay. So we voted the the advisory one. Yes. Or no, we were about to vote. Right. All in favor on the advisory? You we already voted that. Okay. We're going to 35. All right. So, uh, okay. So we're good on both those. Yes. 34. Okay. So Article 35, a bylaw change to amend the. This was a vacation one, you would ask me, and so I put after a six-month vacation period, we got one week. Okay. But that gives them one week, six months, and then at one year, and then two to four years, they get two weeks. Do you want that to stay one week? Do you want to shift all of these numbers? I, I said I would, this, but I didn't get any feedback, so I don't know oh, I, I, I recognize this, and it was on my mind. I am, uh, do you want a motion so we can have some discussion? Yeah, can I get a motion? Uh, I move that we um, recommend Article 35 as written. Second. Okay. Discussion. And um, I'm in, my thought is that not getting um, two weeks of vacation until your second year is uh, seems um, stingy, and I would say that after a, a structure that I that I could get behind uh, spitballing here is that uh, no vacation until your six month probationary period is up, and then after that, if you're hired, if you're if you're close to the end of the fiscal year, you get a week, and then. At the start of next fiscal and oh, I'm sorry, are vacations granted on anniversaries or on the? Do they all get granted they, on fiscal they year? They accrue on July first. They accrue on July first. Okay, thank you. <coughs> so I would say that someone who is um, after six months, they get a week um, if they're in the same fiscal year. Otherwise, um, they would get. Once they've been here over six weeks and they t or six months and they tick over the fiscal year, I would think um, they get two weeks. They've been they've been here almost a year. That's what most other companies do when you've been there a full year. No or, I, I know, I know. I'm 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 spitballing for discussion and then we can so, language it. I have a different recommendation. What do you have? Okay. 
Okay. My recommendation would be after a three month probationary period, three days of vacation. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then at the sixth month, if that sixth month it falls prior to the end of the fiscal year. In the same fiscal year they were hired. Then they get an additional three years. Uh, three, three days. days. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then at the start of the first full fiscal year that they work, that they get two weeks vacation. Sold. That, that, that pretty much does what I wanted to do. It does. So we've got... So after 90 uh, days... It's okay. After 90 days, they get three days vacation. Okay. At, after an additional 90 days, if they have not reached the, the, the first full fiscal year of their employment, mm -hmm. they can get an additional three days. And then at the start of the first fiscal year, following their... <coughs> Two years. <coughs> so, yeah. So, um, and then, so it would be one year, one year to, to four years of service, it would be two weeks. Yeah. And then at five years, they would get three weeks, at 10 years, they would get four mm -hmm. weeks, and at 20 years, they would get five weeks. Yeah. Does that make sense? Uh, that does make sense. Uh, uh, just scenario planning here. So, how would this work if someone were hired on May 1st? And so the fiscal year tips over before they get to the 90 day mark. Then they would get two weeks on that first fiscal year. Okay. And so. If it, they would get two, two weeks out of the first of the fiscal year, even if they're hired on May 1st. So, so if I get hired now, actually, if they would work, if actually it would work the other way. It would be May 1st, the March, March, six days, May. vacation. Mm -hmm. No, if they're hired on May 1st, three months later is June, July, August. August. Yeah, okay. So June, July, August, they get three days. Yes. And then three months after that, they would get another three days as mm -hmm. of August. That'd be August, September, October, mm -hmm. another three days. And then that July 1st, they would get Yeah, that days. July 1st, they would get two. So effectively, they're working a little over a year and only getting six days of vacation. But once they make it to that to that next fiscal year, um, 14 months later, they're then on the two weeks. Right. It's a, I'm not sure that properly fixes it, but it makes it a lot better than what it is now. Well, you could do it every, you could do three days every 90, actually. That would fix it. Until, and uh, it's like, so until, until the first fiscal year, at which point they then accrue, um, they then get the, the full vacation grant that everyone else grant gets based on their service. Yeah. Um, I could, I get behind that. It's, I mean, I'd say the most we, technically the most we could give away is basically nine days. Nine days, and that, that would be someone hired on effectively on July 1st. I just want to, I'd want to structure it 90, 99, that's 360. Can we make it 92 days? Because there's no way you can get. What? <laughs> because, no. because, well, because, because no. oh, if someone's hired on July 1st, they get 12 days of vacation, which is more than two weeks, which is more than anyone else gets. Or do we just want to let that happen? That's, that's what I'm trying to head off. Well, or not to, or, or, or just we say, really just we say not to, jobs. no, not to exceed 10 days. They get, they get three days every quarter, not to exceed 10 days in that first fiscal year. That makes it fair. Sure. Okay. okay. Yep. <laughs> oh, right. 93 days. <laughs> I'd rather every day yes. is not to exceed 10 than try to do the math on every 92 days. All right, or every calendar quarter. It's like, that's fine. It's those corner cases you got to watch out for. Did you get all that, Karen? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got a perspective on how this compares to private enterprise. For instance, where you work after 20 years. So, so the day I started the company I worked for, I got three weeks vacation. Well, it must be a defense contractor. It is a defense contractor. Exactly. <laughs> Well, it depends what your position is. Oh, if you're a man. My employer still hasn't given me a week, so. <laughs> you are your own employer. Yeah. You yeah, you need to talk to your boss. That's the downside of being self employed. Four weeks of my My daughter just started a job with no experience as tech support for a tech company, and they gave her three weeks vacation starting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. And I would say a, a lot of companies are, in my experience, a lot of companies do continual accrual. And so. Well, we were talking about that. Yeah, we, 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 we did talk about that. I, I, that may be ambitious for this year. Mm -hmm. um, Switching from a, you get to spend weeks to you earn one and a quarter days every month. 
Mm -hmm. But it's paid time off, and it's not sick time, and it's not. Yeah, that's that's another thing to figure out. What, it's not personal time. You can use it for whatever you want to use it for. Yeah, that's that that's not this year. Yeah. Is, that would but, um, actually make more sense yeah. be easier, but you're right. Yeah. Not but I think. But that's where right. I came from. I would say. Actually, the, the, the three days every 90 was because it's basically an accrual. You get through 90 days. Yeah. Days. And it's, it's on pace for two weeks, depending on how much of the year you work. Yeah. And then you slot right into, then you get two weeks, which yeah. is, so you're accumulating, it's that first year you're accumulating at a two week per year pace. Yep. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Which, which I think honestly, is reasonable. if we pay more than government contractors and gave less vacation, then I would say that that would make us a competitive employer. But um, you have to be careful about making those analogies because we would also have to have the same pay scales every year. So that compensate for not. <laughs> so let me see if I have this right. We have three days every quarter, not to exceed how many? Yeah. Ten. Totally. Not to exceed ten. Yeah. So up to ten days. All right. Got it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And just to be clear, when we say one year of service, technically someone hired June 15th, when they get to July 1st, they have a year of service for vacation accrual purposes in the system. What June 15th? What July 1st? It's not the same. Well, so, no, no. no the so, reason so, why he's asking is because the way the verbiage is, is it says following the completion of one year of service, yeah. vacations will be calculated. And I think instead we would want the language to say, um, starting on the first, the start of the first fiscal year. Yeah, after hire. After hire, right. So the language would basically, um, you know, and, and basically the way the language would go is that, um, you know, you probably put the, you know, during, during the first year, you know, you know, they earn three days every. <coughs> every month or every three months and then um, you know following you know I mean it'd be a pain in the neck to track because we do it on everybody's anniversary date then you don't have to worry about the fiscal year and keep track yeah, so that would be fine. I mean anniversary their, date is fine. And their higher anniversary mm -hmm. date. Sure. It's just their opportunity. Are you okay with that? I'm I Yes, I'm okay with that. It's um as long as long as the administrative side is comfortable keep tracking it that way. Because I don't, I'm not required to track it. I'm just responsible for it getting done. That's a good point. Every check my previous guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so I always want to do it. All right. So at the start of the first of the fiscal year after hire, yeah, applies to the first year vacation two weeks. Yeah. Following the first year, the schedule is blah blah blah. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. There's still an area up here that I'd like to clarify. Okay. Um, so we have the high week five days a week. Yep. So we have Depends on the time of year. They work four days a week in the summer. Okay. And then we have town employees, town working four, town hall working four days a week. So when we say we're giving a week's vacation, so are we giving five days it to says, people it in the says, highway department? It says take days? vacation is the number of hours the employee would be regularly scheduled to work. So okay. even though the highway department is doing four days, that those are 10 hour days. Mm -hmm. So they get 40, 40 hour, hour work week. Sure. Whereas if you have a 24 hour employee who works, they would only be entitled to 24 hours of vacation time for their week because that's what their normal scheduled work week is. So, like town clerks, how many hours is that? 24. He works 24, he hours. 24 hours a week. And five was four days. Just six hour days? Mm -hmm. No, one of the days he only works like a few hours. No, he's here four days a week, six hours a day. He's here from 9 to 3, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. And he's here from 2 to 8 on Wednesday. Uh uh uh. Okay. So he works six hour days. I thought it was 3 to 6 on Wednesday for some reason. We forgot oh, yes, to mm -hmm. talk to Ryan about staffing for the summer. Okay. okay. All right. So um, hold on. I don't think we voted this one. So no, no. All right. So um, I move that we amend the Article 35 um, as discussed. Uh, sorry. All right. Aye. Aye. Okay. And so can, now we need to approve it. I, oh. I amended it. Now we need to vote on the amended. Right. So, uh, 
So can I get a motion to recommend no. that no. article? No, I already Is recommended it. it. Okay. I already recommended it and then we amended it. We amended what was under consideration for recommendation. So I think we just need to vote on it. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 There we go. Okay, the next one. You don't have any, any, well, you could change it, but I highly recommend it. No, we're not touching that with it. Approve it as, as written. All right. So I, I did want to, I, I did want to talk <laughs> a little bit. I do want, can I get a motion, a um, motion to recommend? I, I move that we recommend Article 36, the uh, marijuana zoning law by law changes um, as written. Sorry. All right, I do want to have a little bit of discussion about this. Okay. Um, I want to do a straw poll first from a standpoint of, it sounds like we we're voting to recommend it. So, um, but I, I would like to do a, a, just a straw poll in terms of, is there anybody um, on the board that would like to speak in favor of this article um, when it actually hits the floor? I am. I am. I'm willing to do that. I've. I read this. I read the bylaw changes that were discussed at the uh, at the planning board's meeting. I believe at the uh, early April end of March. And I think uh, uh, talking to a member of the planning board, they said that they were going to go back and uh, and file down a couple rough edges. And I have not updated myself on that. But based on what I read before those last couple edges got filed off, I was. Um, I'm comfortable speaking to this on the floor. Okay. I'm, I'm expecting, since the planning board is the one that has, has drafted this, that they intend to speak in, in favor of of, uh, of this as written. Are you going to be doing that? No, she's not on the planning board anymore. Right, that's what I thought. <laughs> may I speak? You may. <laughs> I'm sorry, I usually, I yes. usually try to respect the fact you're behind the camera. Yeah. That's yeah, quite all right. Sure. I'm volunteering at this time. I just want to point out, and Kelly has a copy of this, and I would have provided copies today if I'd known you were going to go over this article. I assumed it was just going to be about the money articles. But the planning board is, has uh, compiled a explanation which will be distributed at the town meeting, naming each change and what the change has for an effect on the bylaw. Okay. So if the board and the advisory board would like copies of that, I think Kelly has copies. She can, she can email that out because that's how we submitted it to her, by email. Yes. And I will not be speaking as a planning board member to this because, as you just mentioned, I'm no longer a member of the planning board. But I will be speaking in favor of it because I am in favor of it as a private citizen, as, as someone who helped work on this. <coughs> so. Yeah, I, I, a lot of good work has gone into this. Mm -hmm. what I've I agree. So I haven't had and we had help. <laughs> so. so I haven't had a chance to go through it. Who now is on the planning board if like I have questions? Um, that would be Kevin Ercola, John David Holcraft, Chris Gorman, Jeff King, and lately, as of this uh, election, uh, Christopher Kelleher. Who's the chair? Or they they haven't the had their meeting on Wednesday, and there'll be reorganization then. So now I'm just a private citizen. <laughs> Are you small. bringing popcorn? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, Sharon, uh, um, if you were going. Um, could you please pass on to the planning board, or actually, could you please make sure that, could you please, I, I will rephrase, I will rephrase that. Um, Kelly, could you please make sure that uh, copies of the uh, latest planning board article are at our hearing on the 18th? It's not in topic, but I suspect the people going there will also be interested in that, and just as a courtesy to their interest in the matter, we could uh, hand that out if it's ready to go. If it's not ready to go, then there's nothing to hand out. Are you comfortable doing that, or is that, are we inviting I have a trouble? Response to that question, but I'll do what you ask. She's working on that All right. Do you talking about the article, the I'm, amendment, or are you talking about the explanation, or both? I was specifically asking Kelly about the explanation. Oh, okay. Yeah. But that's yeah, but if it's, copies of what was forwarded. But if, but if it's that. but if it's not if it's not ready, it's not ready. Oh, it is ready. I mean, okay. from uh, from planning board standpoint, you know, Kelly may want to clarify the language, which would be great. Um, but yeah. planning board wrote it up and submitted it as a guide to the town meeting. And mm -hmm. from our standpoint, from their standpoint, it was ready to go. So mm -hmm. has the has, um while you were still on the planning board, had that document been finalized, approved, and released? Yes. Thank you. It had been voted on, and it had been released to uh, Kelly, along with the amendment uh, text. 
Okay, I mean, I guess it's always possible they may change their mind or adjust their recommendation based on new information, but it's like, but if it changes, it changes. Right now we work with what's been it's, approved. Uh, uh, let's put it this way, it's highly unlikely given the time we've put into this. Mm -hmm. Also, um, oh, I forget what I was going to say. Um, the explanation, like I said, may be in for some clarifying language, mm -hmm. but the text of the amendment is going to stay as is because of the amount of work we put into it and the amount of thought that was put into it. And um, yes, I'm, yes, I'm not expecting the the warrant article text to change. Uh -huh. Okay. I thank you for your time on the planning board. Oh, well, 16 <laughs> years. Thank you. So, if there aren't any more questions from a private citizen standpoint, I will get back behind the camera. <laughs> Hey, no gloating. And, uh, and, and just as a, and just a, a, a note, Mr. Crom, as a, as a private citizen, I know that you had sent me a document. I will admit that I just tried to open it, and it's not opening for me. So if at some point you can reforward that to me, that would be great. So, uh, but uh, so Tom, it, I'm comfortable speaking in favor of it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll do that, whether it's. You know whether it's as a member of the board of selectmen or whether it's as a private citizen. I don't. I don't really care. I'll, mm -hmm. I'll do it either way. Mm -hmm. I'm not opposed to it. I just haven't been through it. Yeah. yeah. Um, but um, I've been through a couple of versions of it, and and it is it is truly the ultimate piece of old school government documentation where I'm sure nobody's 100% happy. But it's it, it is <laughs> it is better than what we got. Mm -hmm. So. Um, so uh, um, I don't know that we need to go through the detail here today, but I appreciate just the, the, the communication on it because we've got to move something based off of um, yeah, our, our current MOD just doesn't yeah, work. Yeah, there, there definitely seemed to be a, uh, a need for some change. Yeah. So, and, it's, and if this is from a community and from a finance standpoint, um, I, I know it's not only about the money that we have to talk about what's right for the community, but there's a significant amount of uh, potential upside economically for a town like Brookfield, uh, especially, especially right, relative to the cultivation piece, because we really are a farming community still to a certain extent. Who's been going to generate the cultivation and tax revenue? Mm -hmm. It's true. Yeah. It's good for the community. It is good for more business, 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 business,
We had one citizen's it's petition last year that was it. Well, usually we didn't put anything on them, to be honest. But yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't think you actually put them in just uh, the, uh, the specific on the um, the support of the, uh, the commission about the, the state uh, flag, other towns and selectmen have supported it in addition to the, the town people, the ones that have it. Yeah. So it just depends on what, what the selectmen decide. We talk to it as a citizen or, or leave it the way it is. I'm trying to say part. Oh, that was my answer. Yeah. <laughs> Missed the memo, <laughs> but um, it, it, it uh, some sometimes feels strongly about the select and support it, and uh, I think everyone who put this particular support thing together, uh, this, the, the timing was off as far as when it got going, so didn't have a chance to come. I think oh, yes. a couple of people had wanted to come and talk to the select and prior. We actually did have them on the agenda a couple times, but something happened when they, they Right, well, I mean, uh, you know, Ruby's wife, Sarah, has very serious problems, and she was, I think, all coming to talk. Yes, I don't think so. So I told that to Sarah. Yeah. Yeah. And the person who was presenting it is uh, in a compromised. Yeah. Sherry's there, so she. Uh, um, that's just for point of information. So. Yeah. So I think I think everybody in good faith and intent to like vet it through the board of selection fundamentally. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that, that was the point, yeah, basically. Yeah. Just at the time we got away from everything. So Yeah, I'm over before I come on the next one. Okay, you're <laughs> the next one. So I think I think what we should do is treat all the citizens' petitions equally and not and not and not advise on them. Um, what is this? What are we looking at? Are you looking at Article 40? So don't yeah. we? That's yeah. yeah got, that's. I got. That's already been sent to town council. Will be addressing that. Mm-hmm. Okay. If it is going to be an appropriate fifty thousand now, have to go and do raise an appropriate. Uh, is our, oh, Article 40 is two pages of signatures. Yeah. There we go. That's, so first I thought there was an... At point in my illustrious career, I received these paper warrant uh, citizen petitions and I typed them into a warrant. And I made a typo in one of them. <laughs> and I spent three and a half hours, honest to God, as my witness, three and a half hours getting my butt chewed out at a town meeting. Now I scan them and attach them as is. Mm -hmm. So that's it is what it is. It that's is what it is. I'm okay with that. It's like we that that's the purest uh, reflection of what they submitted to us. Yeah, it was it, was, it, was, it wasn't even a substantive type of but <laughs> that's why it was so important to them. Lesson one. Okay. So uh, next thing is is. Uh, Emergency, or a, I'm sorry, an agenda item on emergency dispensing site. You were asked by the board of health to sign an agreement that you would allow the town hall and the highway department in a mass of emergency to be used as a coordination site. Um, it was something that had been on record at Mass DP and needed up to being in that sort of Okay. And it was at uh, the fire chief's suggestion that it be, because we can't receive pallets of water and, and dry goods here, that it would also include the highway department. So, okay. so can I get a motion to approve? Um, Sorry, what was the question? You have that motion? Or to sign the, the emergency dispensing sites uh, uh, memorandum. Second. Um. Should it be me? It's your agreement, it's the selected agreement, um, so I can I can edit the back page, but it doesn't matter if who signs it. It's the town hall representative, which is you guys. So. Okay. 
Yeah. Um, one note in this article, um, the uh, towards the bottom of the first page, is part of this agreement, we have two bullet point number ones. Okay. Hey, this is what I got from Boyle. Okay. So can we? So well, with I the. Can line, I, can, I, can, I can line through them. Yeah. So just, just with the with the understanding that that's. That's. I figured we'd just want to do the, recognize that, and that way we can. So yeah. you know, auto, num you know, auto numbering is the devil. For you, I will make the edits and then I'll sign it and send it over. Okay, so uh, can I get a motion to authorize uh, Kelly to sign on behalf of the Board of Selectmen? Uh, you have that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, we are finally. I tell you what, let's approve the minutes and then do the budget reviews. Mm -hmm. so can I get a motion to approve the motion 411 and 420? Mm. So moved. Second. All in favor, aye. 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 Uh, and then uh, Charter Annual Financial Report. We go ahead and read that off. All in favor. Check. Ruth? It's in correspondence. I just started. Oh, there is correspondence. And I attaches a copy of the Annual Financial Report, uh, financial balance sheet for Charter. And functionally, the bottom line total owner's equity is uh, seven hundred and twenty-five million six hundred and twenty-six. Total liabilities and equities is seven hundred forty-two thousand eight hundred. Uh, that's a little concerning. <laughs> there you go. Just kidding. Um, anyway, so we can see that correspondence chart. Uh, budget review. My recommendation for the way to go through the budget is I'm hoping you've all looked at it, have ideas, and or questions, or have sections where you have them. And you're going to recommend what is being requested aside from the 3% wage increase, which actually everybody switched over to it. Okay. So do just hit the issues that we have. Do it as blocks uh, if you have an issue within the block. Hold okay. that issue and we'll vote the rest of it as a block. Okay, so let's start, let's just start at the top of general government. So you do the selectman's budget. So um, right, so so for the selectman's budget, is there and you guys are looking at the same copy, right, on your various devices. I'm yeah, I am looking at yeah. Kelly's online copy. Okay. Yeah. And we and we match with um, advisory. That's so, so you you and okay. Um, okay. Oh, I yes, what, I see the advisory. For the sake of the advisory, when we're voting a block, I'll read the bo block bottom line and make sure it matches what we're looking at. Yeah. If you look at the one that I said, are you looking at the one that look I shared the one with that's, you? Yeah, Advisory's sure. column is at. He sent that to me and it's in there. Okay. All right. So for for general government, select board and advisory um, matches. So I would like to I would like to entertain a motion to uh, recommend the total swap and budget as reflected. So it's, you have two hundred thirteen four one four sixty nine for your select board budget. You see that? Thirteen four one four. That's what we have. Yep. So I'm going to read. If you could read out what our number is because they can't see this. I wasn't able to share it. Okay, I thought I just did, but I said that both of them had that number, but that's okay. So select board recommendation for selectman's budget was 213-41469 and advisory is reflected as the same. All right, so can I get a motion to accept uh, that block of budget? You have that motion. Second. All in favor, aye. Aye. Okay. Uh, we have the total technology budget at seventy-six thousand ninety-nine dollars for the select board recommendation, and there's none under advisory. We have not voted on that. What is the final number? Seventy-six. Seventy-six thousand ninety-nine dollars. Yeah, that I was I was given a um, a different number from the assessors, and their software is actually only twenty-five hundred, not three thousand. Which he sent me an email telling me that. So I sent an email to you telling me that. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's in the book. She's 
Yeah, so, so we I'm haven't like, voted on that yet, but we, we, we the same now have the correct amount. Okay, so, right. so, so, can, so can I get a, a select uh, a motion to approve on behalf of the selectmen our recommendation of 76? Yeah, I mean, yeah. So moved. Second. I'm going to make an executive decision saying, like, it, the ones we're in agreement on, we're going to vote with you, all right? Okay. The, so you guys vote with us. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, um, yeah. so uh, do we have you, you have the motion and second. Second. All in favor, aye. 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 I make a motion to recommend the technology budget of seventy-six thousand ninety-nine dollars. Second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. And so, on the next two lines for reserve fund and legal services, actually, the next. Yeah. So, okay, and, so no, down to treasure. treasurer. So, we're good. Treasurer. so go, yeah. So, so go back up. So, from from reserve fund through um, assessor budget, uh, we have alignment. So, let me read off the the different mm -hmm. sections. We've got uh, reserve fund at thirty five thousand. We've got legal services at sixty thousand. We have town account at sixty eight thousand fifteen dollars. We have advisory committee at twenty seven hundred thirty seven dollars. We've got accessors at eighty seven four eighty eight fifteen, and we're in alignment on those numbers. So, can I get a motion for those sections? You have that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I think we're aligned on treasurer also. No, we're. No, treasurer's off by just a bit. I think we need to top that. Um, 95. Or no, actually, that, no, that oh, one's no, right. treasure, no, collect, collector oh, was the first one we had okay, a gap. So, so uh, can I get a motion to approve the treasurer budget at 95598 You Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, so we're aligned through treasurer. All right, so, so we're off because of the $1,500 collector clerk. clerk. Okay. Which, I mean, do you guys want to change our that's the treasurer. Which one are we on? Collective. 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 I call on the 15 minutes which comes out, I'll get that. The tax collector. The clerk. The clerk. Because there's a motion that's going to be presented on the town floor to make a combination between the, the treasurer's clerk and the collector's clerk and make it a regional position. So if we fund that, we'll then be able to, to put that together. Okay. Then I'll take a motion on that. So that was 68844 24, 26 cents? Yes. Okay, so uh, I make a motion to amend our recommendation for the collective budget to $68,844.26. Are you going to specifically mention clerk for $15,000? Sure, I mean, I can do more items, I guess. You could just, just add, add, you could add, just add to include the clerk. To include the collector clerk at $1,500 to our previously appropriate All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Oh, I don't think I have any questions. Oh, my bad. There yeah. it is. Now, we still don't have it, but we're close. Okay, so, so it should be 2600 are you gonna, we don't have edit capability. No, but if she edits it, it, it should come, it. It, it'll come right here. I just did just edit it. Okay. So what, what kind of edited? You, you just need to refresh your screen so that okay. it matches. So the, um, you did not provide the 3% increase for the assistant clerk wages in your version. Update, but it's it's for, it's about. for the town clerk, oh, we skipped treasurer collector tax titles. The fifteen thousand. 
Well, I don't see Kelly in this one. Oh, because, yeah, we, I skipped over that because we were in a line and okay. I just jumped to the next one where we did not. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry, where are we? Okay, so did we not make a motion? You did, yeah, okay. yeah, we did not. Can I get a motion to, I guess, um, sorry. to uh, <laughs> approve the recommendation for 95598.62 for the treasurer? So moved. Second. All in favor, aye. Aye. Mr. Bowie, treasurer, are we okay in trade? Yeah, we met. Yeah, on that one, we matched it. Okay. But well, we voted before. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, so what, I'm sorry, what do we have to change? So I think we need to amend our town clerk assistant wages, right? Wait, yeah, it's cool. not showing the 3% increase in your number. So what is the total? So the, the total for the assistant wages is 5358.06. And that makes the total fifty one seven nine one point seven seven. So I vote to recommend we change the town clerk assistant wages to five thousand three hundred and fifty eight dollars and six cents, bringing the total town clerk budget to fifty one thousand seven hundred and ninety one dollars and seventy seven cents. I want to be patient, so. Okay. 06. Do we already approve the treasurer for the tax time? Yes. Yes, we just have that. Yep. All right. Uh, so you have a motion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. And I'm totally Okay, and then for elections, this is Elections and registration. Um, hold on. Beth, on town clerk, yeah. there is a dis there's still a discrepancy. We have no money in the town clerk expenses line. You need no, to refresh. refresh. I, d I just did. Did you miss? Try it again. All right. I'll, it took, I will re-refresh. It took twice for it to hit Brad. Okay. Yeah, mine's still not enough. Can do it one more time. Clerk. I see it now. Yeah, see, it's 51791. Right, but, but they just re-voted their assistant. You're not, are you adjusting? Oh, she, no. I'm adjusting theirs as well. As they yes. Oh, it just okay. hasn't come yeah, over. Yeah, but, okay, so do we, so we, so we need to, we need to recommend the, um, the refresh number 51791.7. So I, I move that we uh, recommend the town clerk budget at that amount 51791.77. Second. All in favor? <laughs> Aye. All right. Thank you. So that puts us up to the uh, elections and registration at 13000 <laughs> Conservation Commission at $333. Planning Board at $4,500, Board of Appeals at $1,400. I'm going to stop there just so that we don't have to scroll too far. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, you have a motion for those four amounts as mentioned. Sergeant. All in favor? Aye. 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 And Looks like uh, Jeff, did you did you all need to revote those or are you already oh, you're good. Okay. Yeah, we're down to electricity as long as we need to revote. Okay. Okay. And so then uh, um, the one that we we are currently misaligned on is total town hall with um, the select board being at ninety eight thousand eight hundred eighty eight dollars and fifty cents. Um, and uh, advisory being at forty six thousand eight eighty eight fifty, and the difference being the fifty two thousand dollars for it. Uh, all municipal buildings electricity. Mm -hmm. No, it does not include the school. Okay, I'm sorry. But it does include the library. It does include the library. Yes. Okay. So we pull that out. And that has been pulled out of the library. It has been pulled okay. out of the library's expense budget. Yes. <laughs> And it's 52,969.37 cents. That's just 
the municipal electricity budget of 52,000, bringing the total town hall budget to, what was the amount again? Uh, $98,888.50. Bringing it to $98,888.50. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, we've got, we're aligned on town report, uh, municipal heating mm -hmm. fuel at mm -hmm. 14, 486. Right, so I move that we recommend the uh, the town total town hall budget at $98,888.50, print town report at $1,500, and municipal heating fuel at $14,486. What am I missing? The numbers Circle. are adding up to equal our numbers. Hmm. Their column is not adding up. There's something funky with the cell. What is the difference between the two? Mm -hmm. Kelly is there? You're at negative 8% from what we have. So, um, okay. hang on a minute. Let me mm -hmm. double click on it so I can see it. See what's missing. Mm -hmm. And you put in the electricity? It did, yes. What's missing? Well, it's yeah. fresh on it. Just it's showing all the cells are filled. It's doing, it's got them in the, oh, I see what's missing. You got it? Yeah. It's missing the technology cell. That's why it's not adding the technology cell. Are we looking that's at total not, general government? That's not enough, though. <laughs> You should be able to just copy like H H105 over in the J105 and it should fix it. Mm -hmm. Or it'll at least look at the same cells. Kelly, at the end of your formula, you have comma J24. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a comma now. Okay, hit refresh and fix it. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I don't know why it's not going to. It usually goes quicker. Probably because it's slower. You'll grab February. There you go. Yep. Yeah, we're lined up. But I'm not live. Like this one. Well, you're not catching the live one. Correct. Okay, so that matches perfectly now. So what's your. And and those. The total is 908095 and that's all of total general government. Sorry, 908095.99. Right. And Beth, I think we have a uh, motion that's been seconded for the uh, for the last three lines going into g total general government. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 So. All right, that gets us to public safety. All right, Agreed. so we have a discrepancy with the police salary. They're 2% less than what we have. Um, the number that I have in as a recommendation, I believe, is based on what you agreed. That we don't Did you guys contract. Do, you guys that looks like it. Yeah. So they have a handshake on a number of the contract, but not, not for the police chief yet. contract. Right. So the handshake agreement at this time is $112,218.75. Do we want to vote to amend it to match that? Or which, which one? The police chief. Everything else matches. So 112, what was it? 112.218.75. I make a motion to amend the police chief salary to $112,218.75. Amend our recommendation. Any, any discussion? Yeah. Okay. Aye. Hey, Kelly? Oh, hey, Kelly, I just did a refresh and the police expenses are not aligned between uh, select board and advisory. 
Oh, yes, that's the other thing that doesn't match. And that's because I moved the electricity out of the police budget, and the police budget without the electricity mm -hmm. should be $71,240.98. Is that the cost they're paying to the uh, for the solar credits they're using? That's what their bill is. Okay. If you take and look at their, at they pay, they pay roughly $3,255.25 after all the credits and everything's applied. That's how much they pay a year. Mm -hmm. They're paying that to the solar company. Right. So but I subtracted that amount from their expenses and bumped it into electricity. So again, the same exact amount to spend is just coming from a different one. Okay. Why is our number lower? Yeah. What? I don't know why your number is lower. What did they originally request? What is it? They originally request yeah. seventy one thousand one hundred and sixty six dollars. Yeah, yeah. Advisory has recommended exactly what police requested. Oh well, it's okay. We didn't need to put the three percent. Well it's expensive. Oh right. mm -hmm. I don't need to do that. Those are the For three percent. The three percent increase, yeah. yeah that's, so that's why. So that formula shouldn't be there, and it should be the seventy-one six. one six six minus the thirty-two hundred. Oh, okay. So we can do that. So. So wait a minute. Oh, she can do it. Can right over here. All right. This minus. I that. Oh, for the same reason I said? Yeah, me too. I'm <laughs> about there. <laughs> Our paper scissors. <laughs> you can go first. There's two. Okay, so it should be 67910.75. Because now it's subtracting the electricity. So I make a motion to change our recommendation for the police expenses to sixty-nine to sixty-seven thousand nine hundred dollars and seventy-five cents. Yes. Sixty-seven thousand nine hundred and ten dollars and seventy-five cents. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Good catch. We got that, Tom. You got that, right? Uh, yes. I think I was. I don't know if I was the only one. Um, Kelly, have you updated the? Uh, have you updated the select board column? Yeah. Okay. I, I just refreshed and I have not yeah, seen it. Yeah, it. it takes a little bit for it to do. I'm doing this as we're talking. So. Yeah, and it, it takes a minute to, to propagate from you to the data center somewhere on the other side of the world, then back to my computer, I'm 15 feet away. I'm offline, so I'm like just documenting our changes, <laughs> but what was the total police now that we made those two changes? 646285.60. You know you can connect to the guests, right? I tried to. Oh. So that's what I'm on. Now, in the select board's recommendations here, I didn't actually put in the fire budget. The fire budget is 
and we don't know how to do it because it goes up like $10,000 every year. And it has, I looked at the spreadsheet like, since 2018, it's gone up like $10,000 a year. So I, I, if you want to recommend it exactly the way he's asking, that's cool, just let it run out of um, well, uh, Kelly, how much of the, uh, I mean, he has requested a $1,500 increase in his expense budget, and does that a, um, would we then take out the, um, the electricity? No, the electricity comes out of fire utilities, so my recommendation oh, for fire that's right. utilities is minus his electricity. All right, thank you for reminding me that. We've talked about that before. So is our, is it still 8500 No. So he requested 8500 but he actually spends more than that. So what he did, all right, so, okay. So last year he had $12,000 for his utilities and he took out what he thought he spent on electricity mm -hmm. and so re so requested the 8500 mm -hmm. However, he forgot to add in the solar portion of the payment. Mm -hmm. So I subtracted the total that he pays. So my recommendation is 6287.85 for his utilities. 6287.85? Yeah, no, 0.85. 85. Mm -hmm. And then for general expired expenses, what? I didn't know what you wanted to do with them because they go up every year by about 10 grand. I didn't know if you wanted to keep up just dealing with that or, I mean, I'm fine with it if you want to put it in, but I didn't want to make that call. I, I argued against the size of the increase he got last year on the floor because fundamentally he what and he's on the budget every single year. Yes, he's he spent half his budget so far, but he may be keeping his powder dry. Uh, what happened was in he was over budget in fiscal year twenty one. And, and and twenty, but what he did was he looked he looked at how much he was over budget in fiscal year twenty one, and added that to his fiscal year twenty two budget. But what happened was, in fiscal year twenty two, we increased his expenses, we increased his test and certify. We increased he we increased his repair and replace. We we had already given him more money, so he was saying I need this because I was short in twenty one. But some of the money that he was short in twenty one, he already got in twenty two. And then he asked for everything he was short in twenty one in twenty three. And that's what I argued against on the floor. That the I didn't argue that we that he didn't need to be increased, but I argued that the number was not the right number. And so So as you can see in twenty two he was still over budget. Yes, and 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 th right, and but he asked for in my rec I'm going by memory here. I thought he asked for eleven thousand dollars in twenty three. So he asked for twelve. He asked for twelve when in reality we'd already given him six, and then another six, and to my mind another six would have been appropriate. We would have been close to where he needed to be. Um, give, yeah, you, yeah, you per the expense right. report. You, you gave him eleven thousand. Yeah, you're talking about expenses, right? I'm talking specifically about fire expenses. Yeah, you gave him or, eleven thousand. Yeah. Because wages are hard to predict now that we actually pay for fires. Mm -hmm. There's a, always a risk they're going to go over budget, and I'm not going to. Yeah, get I'm, too I'm not going. I'm not going to get upset that, that that too many people show up to put a, put the fire out, yeah. <laughs> or to, or to get someone out of the car. Right. That's right. that's so, that's not so, where we need to be. So I'm not I'm not that cranky about the fact that the the wages were were underestimated previously. Mm -hmm. um, I, I will also point out that per the, ex, the per the expenditure report that Lori put out just a few days ago, um, the fire expense account is 50 percent expended, or they're in that general range. Um, I can double check. The dollar increase doesn't seem crazy to me with I'm sorry, inflation. Well, I mean, I mean that's that's like, the thing that I was sitting there doing the mental math on actually. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I'm sorry to um, but I was I was interrupting you. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to put the forty nine in? He's at fifty five percent expended on fire expenses this year. Okay. So so my thought is twenty So we budgeted at forty-seven fifty this year, correct? Mm -hmm. And so and 
And so he's only asking for, what is that like, how much of an increase is that? 1,500, it's about 4%. 3.2. So, yeah, I mean, I mean, just from a sniff check perspective, it looks. So, what's your recommendation in terms of budgeting for expenses? I, mm, part of me says he's not asking much, and part of me says he, I think he already got what he needed, and that a, a level, level funding this year would, to reflect the fact that he got more than we think he needed. And so, I mean, those, those are the two, I see those as the two options in front of us. Opinion? And, and so. Well, where, what expense account does he use to repair vehicles? He's got a big fleet over here. He, he, he's he has. He repair and replace, and he's got several more articles that are still active. He, he, and we also have the town that we're going to replace. Yeah, he, exactly, so when we bump this all together, it's a huge amount of No, budget. no, that's what I'm saying. It's like in, in the past, he has exhausted his testing recertification account and fixed asset repair account early in the year. And he, instead of getting... Where is he on those? Uh, 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 one second. And, but in the past, and then what he's done is he has funded those activities out of the expense account, which is valid, but what it does is then at the end of the year, it basically, it puts too much pressure on his expense account, then his expense account is overexpended. And to try and counter that, we in the past have increased the fixed asset um, repair and replace, the testing recertification account, so that there would be less need of the expense account to cover those towards the end of the year. I don't know that we're completely beyond that. Uh, and Caitlin, to answer your question, we are on um, uh, fixed asset repair and replace is 83% expended and testing recertification is 89% expended. So those are, I think those are reasonable for how far into the year we are. <clears throat> I, th I think the issue is that this the the f repair and replace account he has in his budget is an operating account budget, so it goes away at the end of the year. Okay. Whereas the money that we the, in the warrant article for the eighteen thousand dollars that's going into the fleet repair and replace warrant article account, so it endures across years. And the select and since that's a general one, the select board I believe controls the expenditures out of it. And so we are using it as a funding vehicle with the understanding that, that money is going in there with an earmark on it to fix pumper one. So we're running the money through there because that will allow us to do the repairs in the next fiscal year and not and still but we'll still have the option to get it started as soon as the article's approved. Does that answer your question, Marty? No. Okay. Well, I didn't. I. Okay. <clears throat> Just trying to explain the mechanics. But, yeah. you know, I, I that doesn't mean it's absolute. I, there, there are. There's more than one way to skin this cat. Yes. It's on the repair but, on the on the line for the budget was for smaller repairs, and then the other one. Was yeah. Big yeah. things. I mean, I. So, yeah. so here's here's my thought. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's a really bad one, but I, I think that the original increase in budget was because he was going over budget every year. And he said, tell us what you really need instead of playing the game of the, the fund transfers towards the end of the year. You know, waiting to see what money's available and then spending what you think you need, right? 
Um, and I respect what his approach had been in prior years, because fundamentally what that was was, uh, mm. I'm going to go sweep everybody else's account instead of taxing the residents of Brookfield to do what I think I need to do, but I'm taking the chance that everybody's going to go ahead and approve my fund transfers. I don't know that that's what he's doing, mm. but that's, that's what it kind of looks like, right? So, um, but it is only a 3% increase over the last year, but he's, he's how far spent this year so far? 55% on his expense account, as of the last expenditure report. So my thought, my thought is, is, is two months left. He doesn't have two months left. I'm sure he can find use for that money. Well, Fresh burning season's over. <laughs> 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 oh, that's funny. <laughs> so, I mean, so fundamentally, I, it sounds like our question is, do we want to level fund it or, or go with the request? Mm -hmm. That basically the either or that we yeah. have. So, I'm, I'm trying to decide, is it, is, it, is it wise or foolish to just cut it by $500 just to sort of make the point, or is that just like poking the bear to no benefit? Uh, it's like that's what I'm, I'm. I'm trying to decide. Does it? Does it sort of like? Is it the? Just make sure you don't get a fire. Does it? <laughs> <laughs> good. Good thinking. Well, I'm, I'm. I'm friends with one no, lieutenant, so no, it's like he'll no, bring about. No, I will. T I will tell you though, in this town, regardless of re regardless of the budget situation, you'd have to pay them not to show up to your house. Because, and they don't do that shit for. No, I. I, I know people. On the on the uh, fire department, and they are all they are all good people, and they're all they they all want the best for the town. Yeah, they're talking about the town reading the aircraft for years, so <laughs> now's the time for us. Mm -hmm. So what's nobody got his request in? He got so his request if in. If he requests forty nine, doesn't spend the free, mm -hmm. then that just rolls the free cash. cash. It just rolls the free cash, yeah. Or someone else. Is there where all the free cash comes from? No, no, no. no. A lot of it comes from things like collecting extra yeah. extra revenue. Right, right, right. Yeah, we're getting sixty-seven thousand dollars in the tax bill that was issued late, so it's going to have free cash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, F fundamentally, when we do the town budget, yeah. mm -hmm. we 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 estimate how much revenue we'll make. We have our expense budget. That determines how much we tax. And then if we overperform on revenue and we keep our expenses down, both of those increase our free cash. And you go the other way, expenses are too high, revenue's down, then that yeah, puts we, yeah, that hurts like our free cash. Like what, what new growth. High level. Oh, come on. Go on. Revenue I'm, comes off of the recash sheet. So it, it hmm. move along. Mm-hmm. So, read it and move it up. All right. So, I need a motion on that line for the select. All right. Um, I move that we. You know, if they don't match, they don't match. No, they, they don't have to match. I just want to make sure that I write it down correctly on my piece of paper. Yeah, and I just yeah. want to make sure if we don't match, we're not matching consciously. Yeah, I'm perfect. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know. Yeah. 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 All right. So it's, it's, I, I'm, it's not the, I'm not going to pick this fight this year. Okay. So, so they give me. <laughs> so, so, so what is so? So give me a motion for so, forty nine thousand. I move that we, uh, I move that we uh, recommend a fire expenses amount of forty nine thousand dollars. Second. Second. All in favor? <laughs> Aye. All right. Aye. Uh, and, updated, and we match. And so I believe that now means that the uh, total, I move that we recommend the entire, the total fire department budget with a total of $161,570, which I believe is the matching number. Yep. Uh, I'll second it. Oh, uh, wait. No, oh, you're right, you're right. I'm, okay, I'm looking at the wrong number. Kelly, could you please give me the right number? The, for the total? For the total, yes. $159,357.85. I move that number. Second. 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 Aye. Aye. 
<laughs> yeah, sorry, uh, my, the, the original total had the uh, wrong utility amount in it. We did it. We just gave the amount. Oh. So um, I make a motion to amend the fire utilities to $6,287.85 and overall fire department budget of $159,357.85. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Good job. Do you have the $8,000 in the telephone? Yes. Okay. There was one that was missing that I, I wasn't sure which one it was. So. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I move that we <clears throat> recommend the telephone contract leases at eight thousand uh, dollars. The building inspector budget twenty one thousand one hundred sixteen dollars sixty seven cents, and the gas and plumbing inspector at five thousand eight hundred fifty two dollars and fifty three cents. After that, we okay, have. Okay, so off on those. you're off on those because you gave a three percent increase to the assistants, and I didn't put those in um, because. It's a stipend. If they don't work at all, they get that amount of money. If they work one hour, they get that amount of money. So it's so it's not a wage. So I did inspector gas and plumbing and wiring all three. That is what I put in there, but I don't know if that's what the board wants to do, and I don't know if they even noticed. Okay. Didn't notice. We actually had that discussion. Yeah. Can we? Uh, okay. Do we want to? Um, do we want to second the motion and then discuss? Sure. Target. <laughs> discussion. Uh, let's see. It's, do we have any idea how much work the assistants do that, 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 that the stipend gets spread across? So if you look at, um, they, they get paid whether they work or not. So, right. So they're not hourly, there's no way for me to track it, but they roughly get called out maybe once or twice a year, and usually it's to inspect the inspector's stuff because they can't inspect their own stuff. Mm -hmm. So this is not a bad one day a year job. Right. Or two day a year study. Would it make sense to I mean, clarify the account? Yeah. Which they don't. Yeah. I mean would it clear would it um would it um help us to clarify to rename the account as a stipend just to make that clearer for I future? Mean, that's, a, 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 that's an accounting thing. I mean that's what threw me off because it said wages, so I yeah, they, it, yeah. it, it seems to randomly say wages and stipends. And some years we've actually just applied the percentage increase because it, it was an education to me that this was something that was just paid down on the annual basis and not a, an account to pay hourly wages out of. Yeah, and it, it is it's an annual check at the end of the year they get the check. And if they work half the year, they, if, if they quit halfway through the year, they're only entitled to half of it. So they're not getting the whole thing. Mm -hmm. In case somebody else comes along. We, so it is an annual stipend. It's not an hourly wage. Mm -hmm. And what's our what's our point? We generally don't up, apply the increases to stipends. No. Mm -hmm. So that means the stipends for certain things haven't been changed in. You changed all the stipends last year. You changed every single one of them to match the 5.9% increase. Mm -hmm. These, we rarely change these them. These ones we did for FY23. Right, but we didn't do it for like planning board and you, you changed every, no, we didn't do the, no, you didn't do the boards, you just did the inspectors last year, yes, yes. That's because I thought it was a wage mm -hmm. Right. I mean, if we have a history of not increasing them and last year was the only time we did it, then I'm inclined to get back on the, well, it, it's like it was inconsistent to do it last year, but that doesn't obligate us to do it going forward. Yeah, I agree. Then, so I would, uh, so that would mean that, um, so the so, number that you gave is fine. So, so yeah, so my, the number I, I moved is consistent with no increase to the stipend, yep. which is our, what our discussion indicates we want to do. Yep. Okay. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, so we, we have recommended the stipends without any increase in fiscal so year 20. one day to FY23 yep. yes. for the assistant wages. For the assistant okay. inspector now, wages. I make a motion to level fund them um, to the building inspector at 640, gas and plumbing assistant to 416, and wiring inspector assistant to 418. Yes. Is that right? Yes, it is. Okay, so I make a motion to amend our recommendation for the building inspector assistant wages to $640, gas 
gas and plumbing assistant to $416, and the wiring inspector assistant to $418. Then you're the total budget. I think I'll clarify. I can have Kelly. Something else. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I also, so with the wiring inspector, I did not include the one dollar because that is an unnecessary dollar. It's not required. It wasn't many, 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 many months ago. You had to put a dollar in the holding account, but you don't have to do that. Anymore. Okay. So oh, you don't. That's it. So okay. So I make a motion to amend the wire inspector expenses and training budget to zero dollars. Okay. Yes, um, Beth, I believe we have not voted the wiring inspector yet. I did. I think I left it off of my previous motion because of that difference on the um, inspector. Okay. So can so, I get a motion to? So, so I move that we uh, approve the uh, wiring inspector at five thousand three hundred seventy-eight dollars and forty-eight cents. Sorry. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, for the zoning, uh, I move that we uh, recommend the zoning enforcement officer budget at a total of $14,092.46 uh, uh, for discussion since there is a variance with, the, with advisory. Is advisory level funded that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry. Second. Second. Okay. Well, right. level fund. Just the expenses. Yeah. <laughs> the expenses. Yeah. Yeah, level funded the expenses. Yeah, the zoning officer enforcement expenses is 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 level so funded fiscal year twenty three. What yeah. did they ask for? They asked for six we, four it's four six four point five three. So that it should should only be four fifty one. Yes. Yeah. Just kidding. Yeah, what happened? So we'll fix it. This is why we're doing this I was actually <laughs> So what happened? Just think of that. They put three percent on the four fifty one. Yeah. That's what it looked like. Okay. Your view? So, so we're going to go with 451. Oh. So now we're going to be voting of 14,078.93 okay. so, is what your right. motion will be amended to. All right. I, I move that we amend the zoning enforcement officer expenses line to $451, bringing the department total to $14,078.93. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. So now we need to, the motion's amended. Now we have to vote the motion, the original motion. All right. Uh, or the amended motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Okay, so with the emergency management, again, that's a stipend, so the 1800 So I didn't add the 3% increase from the prior year budget, even though it was requested. Mm -hmm. Do you want to add the 3% increase? It's, it, is, it is just a stipend. Mm -hmm. I think for consistency, well, I will, uh, for discussion, I move that we approve the uh, emergency management agency budget for the recommended amount, or we re recommend the amount of ten thousand eight hundred dollars. Okay. Second. Second. Discussion. Right. And then um, my thought is just for consistency. If it's a stipend, then we should treat it like the other the stipends we just discussed okay. ten minutes ago. Mm -hmm. And that. So and if we, there's. We just put back out our goal that we want to, right? Yeah. Want to, yeah. So I make a motion to amend um, our recommendation for the emergency management agency stipend from $1,960 to $1,800. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All in favor? 
Aye. 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 Yeah. Yeah, I just think it's important that if it's a stipend position that we treat it as a stipend position and if people say that's not right, then we change the nature of the position. Right. Or they can ask for a change in the stipend just because they want a justification of that. The Board of Health mm -hmm. technically put in a request. They put in a request that I think double their stipend because they're going to be twice a month instead of mm -hmm. once a month. No, we can recommend it or not recommend it. They can fight it out on the floor. But mm -hmm. that's yeah. Yeah. All right. um, you guys meet like 100,000 times in a year. That goes to zero to zero. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you guys are the only ones by state law that can't be compensated. I know. Can we get alcoholic delivered? <laughs> <laughs> Send me your address. What's the name of Grizzly. The, the town can't pay for it. I'm, I'm willing to make a private donation. This is just an aside, but if you've seen that commercial, they had this person delivering this nice big bottle to an office party, and all these guys and their little tweed stuff were dancing around and doing their thing. No, it's Grizzly. It's, it's a great. Uh, <laughs> All right, um, for discussion, I move that we recommend the um, Animal Control Officer budget uh, with a total of $9,621.95. Oh, so that's the same thing. Sorry, sorry. It's a stipend. The yeah. assistant wages are not wages. It's a stipend. They're not paid an hourly. Yes. I'm um, Kelly. Yes. The uh, recommended assistant, the, is the assistant a stipend? Yes. Okay. That's what she just said. Okay. I thought we were talking about the uh, animal control officer, but all right. Thank you. No, that's that's a wage. That's Actually, a wage. it's not a very decent wage, honestly. <laughs> Who's animal control officer report to? Uh, so I would expect the select the select board. It's the select board, yeah. Huh. So, I'll talk to Beth off flight. So do we have to? <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Well, did they, are you guys on board for the vote? Okay. Oh, he's now the chair. Oh, yeah. Did you vote? Are you going to vote on that? Uh, let's see. Well, actually, he's I not think yet. I think we we have a motion. Calendar to reorganize. Yeah. We have a uh, we have a for the animal control officer. I I think we're done with the discussion. Yeah. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 So. To the 756. Is that correct? That we our recommendation was based on 756 stipend for the assistant. Thank you. So I make a motion to amend our recommendation for the animal control officer assistant wages to 756 dollars. Second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. All right. Um, I move that we um, recommend the uh, parking tickets at 333 dollars, tree warden expenses at 12,400 dollars, and shade tree expenses at 1,500 dollars. And these all appear to be in alignment with advisory. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. All right. Schools. Do you want the total for the um, department yes. of public safety? Oh, yeah. Okay, scroll up. The total for public safety is $894,725.01. Mm -hmm. Is that a typo? It says, yeah, the elementary school expenses. They match exactly, it says it's his point. Oh, wait. <laughs> I have that in the folder. Okay, it could be a typo. No. Where? I don't know. I'm not even going to be able to the school. That's pretty good sense. <laughs> well, you know, I don't know you. You know, I would be amused if we shorted them eight cents and see what they argued over it. Well, we, yeah. Do I go out of them now and pick up the eight cents? Yeah. We voted this budget. Actually, that's the elementary school, not the... Uh, Correct. Not the, elementary school. Yeah. not the regional. Correct. 
I mean, I don't know, I, I swallowed hard when I saw that the elementary school budget increase, and then I looked at the cherry sheets. So it was paper, but not mine. Yeah. Well, wait a minute, total budget. Yeah, oh wait. But it doesn't have the eight cents in any of the other numbers. <laughs> so that's all right. I'm going to add the 08 cents. That makes it easy. Oh, oh. oh look, they match perfectly. Imagine that. Okay, great. So do we need to, can I get a motion for the um, budget? Sure. I recommend that we, uh, Recommend a school. I move that we recommend a school budget total of five million four hundred twenty-nine thousand two hundred nine dollars. Second. Eight. Eight. Oh, oh, and eight and eight cents. So amended. <laughs> Sorry, I'm 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 looking at mine. Aye. Aye. Okay. So public works. Okay. I think it's utilities. Utilities yeah. again. Yep. So out of the highway utilities, I moved their, what their costs were out of their expense, their highway utilities line item. So our total was $6,017.67 as opposed to the 10 uh, let's see. Uh, for discussion, I move that we um, recommend the highway budget of $406,496.74. Okay. Second. All right. Um, in addition to, in, a, like. in addition to the utilities variance, there is one other variance, and it is the administrative assistant. So the administrative assistant, if you look over at the notes, no. they last year Cindy Thompson, they took her salary mm -hmm. and they added five and a half percent to it. But yeah. Lindsay doesn't get paid what she gets right. paid, no. so we made the adjustment this year. Yes, I'm. It was twenty-one dollars and one cent times the um, three percent increase. That's 24 hours a week, that's 52.1, which is the number of weeks. Yes, the, but the, that's what yeah. that number is. Okay, I, and I'm comfortable with that, but I, I'm observing that our number is it, our number on that line is at variance with what advisory has recommended to date. If you change utilities for us to your number, which we'll vote on in a second, maybe that'll... No, the util, well, u utilities and the administrative assistant are different between uh, select board and advisory. I think all the other numbers in the in highway are aligned. The um, we your number I the number I see here is twenty eight five zero one sixty six. Our number is what I show as requested twenty seven zero five nine dot zero three. And I think that's because Kelly made him redo his math from the bottom up, and he had actually. Improperly oh. budgeted. Oh, his original, yeah, he, his he, original we request. may have a different, uh, an amended request? He has an amended request. So okay. Amend both of those. Yes. Um, okay. What is the highway administrative request? 27059.03. Yeah. So what, uh, if you change both of ours to that, do we match? Yes. Now you match perfectly. 6,017,967. Pretty it's 27,000. 27,000, 59,000, 57. I mean, you guys can vote first and then we'll do our number. All right, so we've got the motion in the second, right? Yes, yes. and I think we have our discussion. So all in favor? Aye. 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 <coughs> I make a motion to amend our recommendation for highway utilities to $6,017.67 and our recommendation for the highway Administrative assistant to $27,059.03. Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. All right. Uh, I recommend that we, uh, or I move that we recommend a snow and ice total of $77,405 and a st street lights at $0. Second. Second. All in favor? I'm sorry. Yeah, I'll have to. Uh, yeah, we're in alignment, so aye. Aye. This is just water. <laughs> <laughs> just wait till he gets home. I think, we're, I, think, I think we're all past our bedtime. That's all right. All right. Um, for discussion, I move that we uh, 
recommend a cemetery budget of $32,975.12. And we're off because of electricity. Second. Okay. All in favor? All right. Um, so, so they the, have a really tiny, tiny electric bill, but I pulled it out. Like $107? Yes. All right. Um, yeah. Okay. They want to do Did you? Yeah. <laughs> Beth, did you we ask? also don't have a, kept the statue. They don't. They used to always be lit up, and it's not lit up as much anymore. If it, yeah, if at all. Is there a flag there? American flag? It's supposed to be. There is a flag. So I haven't noticed. Maybe that's maybe that's, the, maybe that's the maybe that's. That's got to be. Yeah. Cemetery expenses are what the difference is. So mm -hmm. what are they supposed to be? Five thousand eight hundred and ninety-three dollars and thirty-three cents. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's just the electricity getting backed out. Yep, that's all that is. All right. And then we match. And then we match. Yeah, that was the, yes. What was this number? That was just wrong. I don't know why it was that. It was supposed to be. Yeah. Vote. Right. I'm thinking. Aye. I don't. Re I don't recall saying aye. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, okay, yes. so I make a motion to amend our previous cemetery expense amount to $5,893.33. All in favor? Aye. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I move that we recommend a. Well, before you do that. Oh, just, yes? Oh, you want to, you're going to give us a total, aren't you? There, there is stuff that is up for discussion here. So you have your Board of Health salary, which they want to meet twice a month. So I, that's their reasoning behind getting the extra funding. Their clerk wages, we had discussed at length at other meetings that they need a clerk for more than they're putting money in for. They need somebody for a minimum of 10, 15 hours a week because they just have that much work which was discovered because they are, like, three people were doing the work. It was Mike and it was George and it was, it was um, Brianna. Mm -hmm. And then Mike left. So it was George and Brianna. And then George left. And, and, yeah. and then Brianna left. And then George left. Mm -hmm. and Brianna left so, because there was too well, I think No, it, Brianna left because she yeah. got a really good job. Uh, job in her chosen field, which was, she's the health agent now for Charlton, because this is what she was going to school for. So Gay for Brianna sat at the Board of Health in Brookfield. But the, um, so we had Sarah take over a few hours a week, which was then turning into every waking moment of her job was being devoted because it's just so much to do that the other boards and committees weren't getting their jobs done. Yeah. And that Mike was do it when Mike was on the Board of Health, he was doing, I understand, he yeah, did a lot of work since he was here. He did a lot of work here because he was here. So mm -hmm. I don't think anybody realized how cumbersome the amount of work, the workload was. So they don't have a clerk. They have one board member who's doing the brunt of the work and they need the administrative support. So we had discussed this, Beth did the math. And it came up to twelve thousand three hundred and seventy-three dollars and seventy-five cents for a clerk. That was the first thing. They are asking for a health agent at a thousand dollars. That is covered by the IMA. We do not have to pay for that. So yeah. I see no reason to fund it because there is we don't pay for it. Yes, right. IMA being intermunicipal agreement. Yes. 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 Lester. Lester provides us. Yeah. With Less. So mm -hmm. we, I don't think same with the Title V. The Animal Inspector, yes. The Board of Health Expenses, yes. Um, the Title V agent, no, that's part of the IMA. The Community Health Program, no, that's part of the IMA. And then when you go down to the transfer station, um, the hazard and waste state, that that's actually $5,000. I don't know where those other numbers came from. It must be a holdover from a line that we deleted. But the, the hazardous waste state is brand new. They've been doing it for years. Why it's costing $5,000 this year, I don't know. So we need to discuss whether or not you want to fund those things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so, uh, 
with that uh, discussion, I, I, I guess my motion for $24,323.75 still stands or is now completed? I'm just explaining why there's mm -hmm. zeros in there, mm -hmm. why it's higher than what they're asking for, but not finding out of what they want. Mm -hmm. so. Second. Second. All in favor? Mm -hmm. Aye. 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 Okay, so now. Right. No, uh, well, advisory. I think, yeah, so, advisory should so, align so, so or what's our discuss. Method? I mean, you know, I'm still I'm playing phone tag at this point with the fair chair, so I'll just talk about what we did with the budget this in the graded thing. Um, does, does their requested actually. Okay, so we approved their requested on Board of Health salary. Yeah. Okay, is that the amount that they actually submitted? Or did they change that after the fact? I don't know if it's so good, but did they change it after the fact? Well, she was here at the meeting where everybody asked, was asked to do what she was said. Okay, so okay. that is what she asked for. Okay, great. Um, so for the, for the transfer station, Yeah, they asked for 6400 for the car, but it's not enough. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's not. I mean, we did the math on that. So it's so really expensive at 135 for transfer station. Oh, yeah, 135, 133, 786, 85. Because I moved the electricity out. <laughs> <laughs> and well, we, we put the hazardous waste in, so we did 148. What's your number? Uh, that was for the community health program. Oh, which I'm willing to take out. Well, but why wouldn't it be up top? I don't know. Community health program numbers. So I don't know typo. why this is the order I started okay. with somehow. That's all right. So um, are you taking that? I okay. think we will be voting on that in a second. Okay. I just figured I'd block them all together. But so okay. you are recommending not doing the five thousand dollars for hazardous waste? I'm not saying one way or the other. I'm saying that it's new. They've been doing the hazardous waste for years. I haven't seen the bill, so I, I don't know where the number comes from. It rolls into free cash at the end of the year if they don't use yeah. it. And it's a big chunk of money for not knowing what it's going to cost. And how is it that they have a budget and expended amounts in that? Yeah, I don't know where those numbers came from. I, I don't, that must have been, um, so I deleted things that don't exist anymore or that hasn't been funded for years. Okay. And I must not have taken those numbers out. So those numbers don't belong. Okay. So let's get those out of there so we don't confuse people on the town hall floor, first of all. Yep. Um, okay. Those are gone. So what is your transfer station oh. license on the electricity taken out? One hundred and thirty-three thousand seven hundred and eighty-six dollars and eighty cents. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if I you want to start at the top? Yes, please. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I, no, that's fine. I have forty two hundred for a board of health salary. Yeah. Twelve thousand three hundred and seventy-three dollars and seventy five cents. Three seventy three seventy five. And then zero for the health agent. 1250 for the animal inspector. 6500 for the expenses. Zero for the Title V agent. Zero for the community health program. Is there a fund to add that? Do you guys want me to make the motion for all those amounts? Hold on. Uh, let's make a motion and discuss the questions. Okay, so I make a motion to amend our board of health clerk wages to $12,373.75, the board of health agent to zero, the title five to zero, the community health program to zero, and transfer station expenses to $133,786.85. Okay, discussion. Any questions? I don't know. Okay. I mean, that, what the, I mean, that brings us in line. 
what Kelly thinks. Right. Right. I'm sorry. No, two, two points I had. One is that we were waiting to vote on this clerk seat. We didn't quite understand who was, if that was in or out. And so that's that's fine. And then the hazardous waste, I still don't. Yeah, actually, I really I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. I'm yeah, happy to I'm put it best. in there. I would, um, the, as of yesterday, the transfer station expense account was expended at, uh, I had it just, transfer station expenses was 65% expended and we're five, six, that's two thirds expended and we're five, six of the way through the year. I don't know that they have many. Well, and they, 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 they yeah, yes, and so. Yeah, so I think we zero it out based off of that. And I think. Just make it part yeah. of the discussion. And I and I think we uh, we and can, can you uh, let Maureen know as a courtesy that that was our intent and that we're happy to discuss that. But it seems like there's room in the expense budget for the hazardous waste day. Yeah. But if they've got something big coming, like the uh, Casella contract is re-upping, or they they're expecting much higher um, haulage fees, yeah. which I Mike has always but said are uh, coming. What, I'm sorry. Don't they collect that in the transfer station? Well, but the but the the the, the, the fees from yeah. Yeah. In in my experience, the fees have covered most of the trans cost of operating the transfer station, but they don't perfectly offset. And more the issue is that they're not directly linked. That when the cost of hauling the trash and the recycling away goes up because the nearby landfills are full and they got to drive the trucks for further, that cost is going to roll onto us. That's something that when we were working with Mike when he was on Board of Help, he always said it was coming, it was coming. Well, the other towns are already shutting down transfer stations. Right. So my, my, Making everybody get public trash. Mm -hmm. just like my other question was, was my understanding you were, you were guiding as, as a select person the Board of Health in their transition to that work out okay so you more or less understand what Everything is going on. I, I was able to get some questions answered. Uh, due to time, didn't get everything done that I probably that it would. I, think, like, I could have. Is like, oh my God. Yeah, We're I think. Oh. Yeah, but I think. Like, yeah. Right? yeah, I mean, we have. Uh, and we are meeting. Yeah. Yeah. So, we. If they have a really good reason for wanting it, other than oh, well, we think we're going to need it, or we've got a contract now and this is our bill. Yeah. Because. I was I was surprised to see the bulk of waste day happen in this fiscal year. At, it, it was absorbed by their expense account, and and it was and it's been going on for many years. I'm not sure they've had it in past years. It was in this year. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, I spoke with them both years. Okay. Well, they didn't do it during the COVID years, but they did it prior. Oh, prior yes, to that 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 aligns with my recollection. Thank you. That's it. Okay. Aye. Okay. Thank you. So does that get us in line? Yes, it does. Okay. So your bottom line is one hundred and seventy-nine thousand six hundred seventy dollars and ninety-nine cents. Six hundred and seven dollars. I'm sorry. Yes, six hundred and seven dollars and ninety-nine cents. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's really All right. We uh, let's see. So council on aging. Yes. And. I move that we recommend uh, Council on Aging budget at $10,175. Um, and that's for discussion as there's a variance on the director's salary between us and yeah, advisory. Yeah, there's a 3% increase on the director's salary, which Sorry. they did not include in their Sorry. request because they didn't. It, it, it's not a stipend. This it's is a This is an hourly salary. It's an hourly wage. That's an hourly wage. Full <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, for 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 clarity, can we ask Lori to have that stay wages or salary? Instead of forty one hundred twenty dollars. Okay, I make a motion to amend our council on aging director wages to four thousand one hundred twenty dollars. Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, yes, it does. Yep. Yeah. 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 We didn't vote. Oh, I'll do it. Aye. Aye. Good on the veterans. Yep. Uh, yep. I move that we recommend a veterans um, uh, budget for a total of ninety thousand eight hundred twenty-three dollars and eighty-nine cents. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, library. Aye. 
You want a motion for discussion? Yeah. All right. I, uh, for discussion, I move that we uh, recommend a total library budget of two hundred five thousand two dollars and twenty five cents. Second. Do you want to discuss? Uh, yes. I just, I just don't see the. I, I understand that the library trustees have negotiated that contract. I don't see it. I. I move that we modify the library director wages to $60,000. Oh, did you just move? I, 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 I move. <laughs> I, I, it's, like, it's like I'm trying to, yes, Fred, I, I made a motion that we amended. It. It's like if you don't want to discuss it, you don't have to second it. Yeah. It's like that's a conscious choice. That's why I yes. didn't. Yeah, that, that's like that's that's why I didn't prompt him without telling him what he's seconding because I, I want him to to decide this is something this is an important discussion. So what do I have to second it? No, no well you do not have to okay. second it. It's like if you don't second it, then my motion dies yeah, and I'll, nothing I'll changes. I'll second it for discussion. Thank you. <laughs> it's like all right. I might, put a, I might put an egg timer on it. <laughs> uh, that's, that, that's, that's fair enough. Thank you, Beth. It's um, just the, the, the research, the, the salary comparisons I saw from Kelly just make me think that the requested amount from the library trustees is, is not, re, is, 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 is excessively generous. And that I am, I mean, look, looking at the numbers, it's that the, a 3% raise, I think, would have kept her in the pack. And I think, um, I, I think well of Brenda. I think she does a great job. I think that I can't, in good conscience, look at how much that, where that puts her relative to um, other towns of similar size. It's like that's really what's holding me back and, and causing me to make this recommendation. I, but I mean, I love the library, but as as a as an as an as a having this elected seat, though, I think it's one of it's part of my responsibility to look at the budget and say, is that reasonable, and not just say, yeah, I like that person. I yeah, let, they can have that. It's it's hard. Um, it's for well right now the motion is for sixty thousand dollars. What's what's um, yeah? It, it, there's a motion to amend the Brenda's salary to sixty thousand. I mean, I kind of echo what Tom said. I mean, I'm actually like a little bit I don't know disappointed about it because I feel like it puts puts us in a tough position because I also think Brenda is amazing and the library is amazing. I felt like the town they used for comparison were sort of cherry picked to make a certain mm. point that which, which happens in contract negotiations. Yeah. Um, mm. but I mean we have the towns that we used for all of the salary adjustments that we worked really hard on. Well I mean yeah we did so huge and, 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 that was, and that and the library director was a pretty big adjustment at that time. Um, and I think saying that now we're just gonna look at like seven other towns that weren't the same towns that we use, usually use for um, salaries isn't the right way to go. And I think mean, there's a lot of ways to play with that data with all the different towns and the different size libraries and the different amount of hours people work, but I can't get to 72. Yeah, it's. Uh, I believe it's now. Yes, with with the longevity move to a different line. I think it's a seventy. Yes. Right, but but again, even I mean, Shelby did provide that Excel spreadsheet data, or I don't know if it was Brenda gave it to Shelby, and then we looked at it, and it's very difficult to compare even the libraries around because they all have different hours, different operating costs, different scales, even though they might be the same size town. So. And I think there's a lot of reasons for Brenda to be well 
compensated. I mean, that's a tricky building to manage. There's yeah. two buildings to manage. There's staff. There's it's a great library. They have a lot of amazing things going on. But yeah, I mean, I, I, What's I education? look at all those numbers, and I, I think still have a in library. time probably looking at that than anything else this year, and I still couldn't come up with a. This makes rational sense. This is basically a gut call. And, and I, I don't I don't really feel comfortable leaving a gut call at, at the seventy thousand. I mean somewhere between the sixty and sixty five. Well, sixty maybe. is double what you give everybody else. It's a six percent increase. So that's yeah. not an unfair. Yeah, I was gonna say it, that's not an unfair and, and it puts No, I'm not about saying that, but then it's also the library trustees um, you know, it, it was their sort of decision also, and I maybe mean, they didn't do as great a job as possible on negotiating the contract and bringing out all the comparables and everything else when they're talking to Brandon because they're very committed, dedicated, but, um, so that would be my personal, it's somewhere between the 60 and 65. I mean, as I said, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out, but on your end, I mean, the 60's on the table. I don't mm -hmm. think that's unreasonable, but. Yeah, I mean, I think it's. I might go a little higher, but I'm not, uh, I just, the 70 is tough for me. Yeah. What was your take on the numbers? Well, I did a lot of research into this myself, and if you look at the same number of hours worked, same education level, same circulation rate, and, and compared, I, I picked libraries that were exactly the same as our yeah. library, yeah. with the same education on the staff, the same yeah. hours worked, yeah. the same circulation, and then also added in towns, the 56 is like right there. It's, it's right where it's supposed to be for comparing library to library to library. So giving her, giving the position an increase of this magnitude seems very, very out of step to me. Um, right, but do you have a counter as far as based on Europe? Because I, I look probably at the same numbers and I couldn't sort of figure out the number. So if, if everybody's getting a 3% increase and she is spot on with her current salary to like libraries, I would recommend a 3% increase like everyone else. I think 6% is very generous the, and fair. The library trustees obviously don't think that she's in line with where she should be. She should be. Um, but I, I mean, part of your argument was also that look at what the water superintendent right. is getting. That, 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 that should not even be looked at. I understand that, and that's what I'm saying. I think that that weighed heavily in the decision where they're not comparing apples to apples. So I, I, I think I, that sets a bad So many precedent. years to try to explain how things work and you know, let us know prior to doing something like this, at least give us a heads up. But I mean, and so that's the other issue it, it, is that they didn't really let us know no, no, that the cycle salary. was through, and um, I, I, I personally felt a little blindsided after that because I worked with them so hard. But I still, I, I you know, I'm not getting a little personality in it because I love the library, but I just think it's a little high. I think 27% is a very, very high increase. And the library assistant budget going up considerably. Right, well, that's the other issue. That's 14 percent, yeah. But that, as I said, includes the cost of the new library director. But I don't know how much of that is for the library director and how much of that is for the other employees. So that, that I don't even I, And I requested the, the breakout, and I haven't gotten it, so. And it seems like creating a library assistant director would help make the library director position easier. Easier. For, for sorry to put words in your mouth, like but more support, like more support. <laughs> and right around that position to the personnel board. And what was discussed at the personnel board meeting was that this person is already doing all of these tasks. They're just giving the title, the appropriate title to the job that's currently being done. Mm -hmm. So this position is not going to impact the workload of the actual director at all because all of the work for this position is actually being accomplished by this person. They're not adding in the person. They're, they're 
giving any title to someone who's pre-existing. So presumably the 13.9% increase in oh. assistant wages is bumping her up, I'm assuming? So uh, giving her and again, I don't want to say yes or no because I don't have any of the data. I don't know. I've, uh -huh. I've asked for the breakdown and I haven't received it. Okay, so... so um, I understand that we still have Kelly's, rec we have Kelly's recommendation at 3%. We have mm -hmm. your motion, which is a scooch over 5%. Yes. Um, do we want to vote Tom's motion? Um, I mean, my only concern with the two is if we defund it, so to speak, or lower it, they, they are then having to pull it from somewhere else. No, they are not. Because the contract has to say that it's subject to funding. Yeah. And so what, what happens in that is, instance? They have to renegotiate a contract with it? You know, that's a question for town council. I don't know the answer to that question. I'm not going to pretend that they do. Yeah. But, but, but they, it's subject to funding. No salary is, is required to be paid if it's not funded by the town. Yeah, the, the town controls the funding. Right. I, so I, they're I, just recommending. They yeah. can all stand up and say, listen, we want this. And the town can go, yeah, well, we're going to give them the I mean, more money. I, and I, yeah. I, I, mean, I mean, Brad, so I see. I hate line. to put it this way. We're going to drive a bunch of attendance at town meeting by, yeah. by making the lower recommendation. Yeah. Yeah. That's OK. Yeah, I mean, I see it two ways. Either the lower. Yeah, Yeah, I would have liked them to have consulted with us a little more, so but they're their own board. No, it just seems so harsh mm -hmm. and like the last thing anyone wants is to not have Linda right here. So, so she's got a master's degree. Did she, has she paid for that while she was an employee here on her own? Um, I don't know when she re received it. So yeah. It's, yeah. Um, I don't, I'm not sure there's a, I'm not sure the town has a tuition reimbursement program, so. Right. So therefore, whether she, whether she came to the position with it or not, I, my expectation is the town did not pay certain, for that for her to get know, that. Certain library positions, to be a library director, it depends on the size of the library, the state requires you have a master's degree to hold that position. Mm -hmm. I don't know if our library meets that requirement, but you cannot hire someone without that or they will just, they will remove the accreditation of the library yes. and all of the funding that they yeah. get. That, that's so, not good. So we need somebody, if, if the library qualifies for that, I know like in Holland, our library is, is tiny and based on the hours they're open, we do not need someone with a master's degree mm -hmm. as a library director. Yeah. And that's... I feel very not well met. I mean, not totally I also am totally interested in what town council has to say because I wonder if there are any like ramifications for sort of like going against what the trustees are. Like, I, would just, I, would, I would hate, my concern is it coming out of expenses. But like, is there something that like- No, they, it, they can't force us to pay like, it. Like, if you don't follow the trustees' recommendations, like, the, is there like any ramifications I mean, to that? To, to me, the, the two possible, the two possible outcomes I see as most likely are either the lower funding by the town meeting controls and the contract respects that, or the lower funding is incompatible with the contract and that effectively makes the contract null and has to be renegotiated. I don't know which one is right. It could be something else, but if I had to bet, I would bet it being one of those two it, it, scenarios. The third option is if the friends of the library make up the difference. No. And, uh, no, I don't they can't pay the they can't uh, sell. I can't do that. They could cover some of the expenses, probably. And we also wind up with the issues because there's all kinds of regulatory state laws around the expense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and, it, and then she doesn't get retirement on that because it's not part of her official salary. It's ugly, I think. A $60,000 $60, plus the longevity is really like a 18%. No, it's... it's Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's not quite six. Uh, Sixty thousand is not quite six percent on her salary. Yeah, it's like five and three. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, so. And with the thought that, if 
we sleep on this and decide we want, or among the select board, our next meeting is uh, on, the, on the 18th, and we may get an earful and we may change our minds or we may, we may not, but this recommendation is not, whatever we vote here is not set in stone. We have at least one more chance to, to reconsider the matter. Can we have a, time's running out, but I mean, can we have like a joint meeting with library trustees on this? We did that, remember? <laughs> I know, but I mean, there's been yeah. more can, that's come along since then. I, I, sus I suspect that if we do not fund it at the library, at the uh, contracted amount, that we will see quite a few people from the library trustees at our meeting on the 18th, that they will be there to talk to us about this and let us know what they think. But I, and, and it could be that it's, as it They will show up. You know, before they enter into such a significant increase. I think, we need, have, I think we need to have a public discussion. You know, if nothing else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I was some, yeah, and some yeah. of the stuff I didn't know when I was at that meeting. It's setting a precedent for town, even though the library of trustees controls it. I mean, it is setting a precedent to an extent. And um, I think, you know, they should have advised <laughs> powers that be that something like this was going to take place or, or what they were thinking about it. What, what they did let me know they were entering into a contract. Not know what the amount of money yeah. So, uh, Beth? And they want to enter into a contract with the, um, and I said, well, I think the trustees can enter a contract with the library director, but I think the assistant director may fall under the board of select and the board of library director. I wasn't sure which. And they came back with, nope, here's the law. We got this. See ya. This is pretty much the email I got. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am paraphrasing. Well, well, no, no, no. Yes. What I'm saying at that point then, yeah, but the town funds it, so you better come talk to us. You know, yeah. at least consult. Mm -hmm. I just sent an email to town. I'm sorry, but mm -hmm. I, also, I don't the goal is for Brenda to be happy, like a good strategy yes. for the yes. to, to enter into a contract for a amount of money that was going to get. I do know that the other departments are not happy. At the increase. Well, they are not happy at all. Yeah, I mean, not surprised. Well, but, 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 <laughs> well, but it's a well, bad it no. it, so it, it You do have to be careful, though, because it's the same, it's the same like when you're a private industry that where you try to make sure there's lots of equity and fairness so that people don't feel like they have to enforce equity and fairness on it. Which is why I think like the argument of using the same towns that we used for Collins yeah. and making it about library <laughs> director positions compared to one another and not. Yes, with the same demographics, mm -hmm. right? So yeah. that's yeah. important. Which, and which I'm go, shocked which about going, the library budget this which, year. Which is amazing. Which going back to. Well, it's a very good library. It is. Yeah. It is. Which, which going back to the, you know, the, the white communities, I mean, she was literally at the average. So one of the reasons why I don't object to going to the 60 is that I think from a standpoint of quality of services, our community currently is above average in what that library is providing for the. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so that's where actually I think your your spitball of 60 is not a bad number because between mm -hmm. the 60 and the longevity, it would put her probably in like the the, the 75th or 80th percentile. Mm -hmm. which of comparable. For those peers, is is legit. Right? Mm -hmm. I think that's I, legit. I think that's the level of service we get. Right. So I, I think that that I think. That, that does put in the legit, and I need to put it this way again, it's perfect compromise. None of the department heads are going to be happy with it because they're only getting 3% except for, you know, uh, probably police, right, fundamentally. So, um, but at the same time, it, it least, it's at least a nod to the, we understand that you feel Brenda needs to get better compensated, but this is our recommendation at the time. Yeah. And if you all are good at 60, yeah. I think I think mm -hmm. you may be good. Yeah. I'm just and just also the the library board of trustees is elected and so as elected representatives of the town in that capacity I think we do want to um, respect some of that in some level which is why I thought it's like not, not just say three percent but say they think she's doing a good job I don't disagree with that but I'm I take issue with how much they want to recognize that. Right. So, and Beth, you said that you, you said that this is something that should be discussed in a. Uh, and I think you're leading towards um, this discussion continuing at the hearing in two yeah. weeks. Yeah. So I think I think what I think by setting it at 60, it's gonna it's gonna trigger some I think more interest in the public hearing from both mm -hmm. sides. Both Agreed. From, 
folks that are in support of what the trustees put on the board, mm -hmm. as well as people that say hey, she shouldn't get more than three percent like everybody else. So I think it, mm -hmm. I think I think that good that's a good middle ground from the standpoint of us mm -hmm. uh, taking a stance that would make everybody equally unhappy. But yeah. I'll say that. And I'm I'm not married to that number. It's just I put that. It's like, but I I, I agree. I think it's a it's a good starting number. And we might finally be able to get an answer to the library situation and what is going into that number. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, and I, I, I thought that at the last meeting you all said that you were not going to die on this hill and you were okay with this. So I'm a little confused by this right now, but that's okay. That's what you told me, so I was that like, I, they said at the last I, meeting. So. No, mm -hmm. I, that, that's, cool. that's exactly what I said at yeah. the last meeting. But, um, so, I, 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 was, I wasn't ready to put my flag down at so, that so, meeting, so, so I just stayed quiet. So, so there's a, a particular method of discussion that the Israelis actually refer to, and it is called strong opinions lightly held. So they all come to the table with a firmly held position, but they're willing to discuss opinions and facts outside of it. It sounds very contentious, but mm. frequently they wind up in a different place than where they started, so. Um, that's, that's on brand. Uh, I'm just, what's that? <laughs> that's on brand with the, uh, with the Israelis I've dealt with. Exactly, so um, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna claim my mother's heritage and say that that's why my opinion is changed. Mm -hmm. I don't hear why you can change your opinion. Would <laughs> the plan be to invite the trustees to? I, I think we need meeting. to formally invite them. Not just like let them hear that. No, I, I think we need to advise them of what specifically we have recommended uh, yeah. that it's different and say that we uh, in, that that the, that we would love to discuss it further than at the public hearing um, and just say that that's probably the uh, the best way and that way they can gives them a chance to um, the warning, bring their troops the warning, if they're gonna have a quorum, they need to post it the um, so when May 18th, this Thursday. Oh, okay. uh, no, no, two, two weeks from this Thursday. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Kelly, two weeks from this Thursday, I believe. Two weeks from this Thursday. No. The 18th? Yes. Yeah. Thursday it is? Oh, yeah. thank God. <laughs> You're welcome. That's the best news I've had all day. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's two weeks from now, not next week. Yes. I'm like, I, I'm the. I don't know about it. Karen was screwed up on the day. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's right. awesome. That is like right. awesome. So did you get, or were you going to vote or no? Um, uh, I, I believe that's up to, I believe the uh, chair has to uh, close discussion and then we have to vote since yeah. we do have a, um, a motion that's been seconded. Um, so, I'm, so I'm ready. Okay, we're ready to I just want to table it until okay. we talk to him. Or I guess well, we're I th I'm, I'm of the opinion that if we, if we recommend, if we, if we don't show that we have a different number in mind, we're not going to engage them in the discussion and, and I'd be concerned they don't show up. It's like, I think it's, I think it's good to put this number. We, I, I put it forth in good faith. I think, this is, I think this is a reasonable number, but as Beth said, strong opinion, lightly held. I can, I'm open to discussion and I, am, I can have my mind changed. So, so anything, anything else before? We have to have a unanimous vote, so I think I think we can vote it, and then yeah, you, yeah, you can, point. you can, yeah. Brad, you can vote however you want. Are you you're just hmm? voting on the library director? Yeah. Yes, we're we we're amending the, the motion is to amend the library director to sixty thousand. Okay. okay, I've got that in there. I just want to make sure. Okay. All right. So we'll get the rest of it and work So, any further discussion? I've said all I need to say right now. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Okay. So, Billy, what's your total? So my total is one hundred and ninety-four thousand five hundred and two dollars and twenty-five cents. The. Um, Do you have the longevity? The longevity is longevity. on a separate line at fifteen hundred dollars. Can you just read me your line? Do you have sixty? I have sixty. No. I have eleven thousand seven hundred and twenty-six dollars and ninety-seven cents. Now that was not a straight three percent increase because they added two additional hours a week. So that's why that amount is different than the three percent increase. Okay. 
Um, and then I have $58,994.28. So is this, your, this is already printed in the book, isn't it? This book no. is never printed yet. No. When does that book get printed? When I have numbers to put in it, after you guys but after the, but after after the 18th? Yes. Yeah. After the yeah. We'll, we'll have handouts with the numbers on the 18th, but the warrant book won't be printed that day. Yes. Right. Um, it's cut real close. I got well, to send it to the printer. I'm going to have to send it to the printer before the 18th. The yeah. warrant book? Yeah. Okay. It has to be because it's got to be out 10 days before. My, my, I need the printer needs time to print it and get it to us. So. Hmm? We've. No, I'm sorry, I was going to say, it's like we've put out not bound copies of the book. We've put out copies of the warrant that were not the bound book handout before, but I think it's best to do it that way. So we, like last year when I didn't get it printed until the last minute. Okay. I know that. I get that response from people sometimes. It is getting late. <laughs> All right, so you got the wages. Well, your $58,994.28, is that just a 23 with a 3%? That's just a Because I think they had extra in there. But yeah. um, so I don't know if we should like try to back. They need a 14% increase in that. May I? Um, we, the motion we have is for the 3% increase, I believe. And I would say that. Um, that I, once I see how the library breaks out that, how much of that increase is COLA, how much of that is additional hours, and how much of that is a raise for the new assistant director position, or for there are no additional hours, Tom. It's just a raise, if anything. Okay. Well, that's what I was saying. But so if there's if there are no additional hours, then that just leaves money for um, the the three percent raise for the general people, and then how how much of that is three percent raise for everyone, and how much of that is the increase for right. Julia, the the prospective like assistant? Point seven plus like another five percent. So right. I don't know but I that but I would like it. Percent. I would like the library to break it out, and I'm willing to and I'm willing to say, I got three percent on the table until you can show me how it breaks out, and then once I understand the numbers, if I agree with them, yeah, I'll support them. I'm fine with that. So then thirty five hundred. Where do you see 34? Would we keep going down the list of... So then after um, we have Saturday's holidays and vacation, 2781 18000 for library expenses, 41500 for books, videos, and periodicals, yeah. zero was requested and zero was provided for utilities. And then the longevity of fifteen hundred. So, uh, so the only question. <coughs> yes, the that number is a dependent number, and we should probably. I believe that has to be nineteen point five percent. Nineteen point five percent of the total is a good guideline. I think the formula is a little more complex. Every year I'd look at it and I'd. Work it through and get it right, and then I'd forget because. I'm sure you made me do it. I was like, this is impossible. <laughs> <laughs> but my question is the expenses went from 14000 to 18000 And Brenda told me that was because she moved her electricity over into that account. That's exactly what she did. Yeah. Into expenses. So I actually think the expenses should be 14000 or 15000 no. Oh, is that? No, no, I did not. Okay. I didn't uh, it's coming out of the other number. It's correct. It is. Yes. Mm -hmm. I added the three. It's it's oh, included right. in the other. Well, it's oh. is definitely incorrect. Then. It's got to be. I I don't know why she did what she did, but it. it I think that's how she interpreted what you were saying. Like. Oh, really? <laughs> that you, that. I thought she just went ahead and did it. I thought she did it because her budget can't go down. It has to stay the same or, and go up by it's a certain percentage. she's spending $5,000 already, so it's going up. I mean, this is pretty Yeah, it has numbers. something to do with the math calculation, and it can't go down, and I don't, I don't know. So you I do you not understand why they did what they did. I know. We don't have any year we're a little confused. Um, so you think it should be eighteen thousand so, or you think I just put it in what I saw because I don't know how they got their numbers. I don't understand how they got their numbers. I don't know. Yeah. 
Caitlin, are you saying that based on your conversations with Brenda, you think that she took her utilities and rolled it into the expense line and just absolutely yes. That's consistent with the numbers. Only she did that because okay. I thought it was just to keep so the she, numbers level, not because like the expenses went up four grand mm -hmm. and her utilities was three, but she said she bumped it up because the electricity yeah. had gone up. And I think we were forecasting thirty five hundred. The electricity line in the the electricity line has thirty five hundred for the library this year, so th those numbers jive. So. Um, I would, I would have been comfortable recommending a smaller mm -hmm. amount than, mm -hmm. or level, yeah, or, I mean, we need yeah, you can't, yeah. you can't. Yeah, I, I would say probably. Yeah. Um, um, I move that we amend the uh, library expense line from eighteen thousand to fourteen thousand um, dollars. No, don't level fund it because it's going to cause a fiasco. I think go 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 either go either fourteen five or fifteen. I think fifteen. Um, I'm um, I amend the motion to fifteen thousand. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 It's like and. This is, we're, we're going to be having a discussion with them so this we can hash this point out also. Yeah. So Kelly, your total, whatever your total is, mm -hmm. what's 19.5% of that? Oh, I can do this. No. Sorry. Oh. Here. No. Here. But you, but you, but you, Caitlin, you can't do it that way because if the because if the because if the books and periodicals is inflated, it's going to inflate your 19.5 percent. You've got to take everything but books and periodicals and divide it by 0. 0.805. Well, no, we need a number in there. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, to, to come up with your actual total. Yeah, it's 194. Yeah, we, I can figure what out the form. Say, what did you say the formula was in? So trans it was periodic. No, it's like everything but periodicals, uh, assuming, that the, uh, assuming that books and periodicals needs to be 19.5%, then you need to take everything else, divide it by 0. 0.805, and that is what your total should be. And the difference between your original total and the total divided by 0 0.805 is what books and periodicals should be. You have a laptop right there. I can, it's a, I have what? You have a laptop right there. I, I, I do, but it's Kelly's spreadsheet. Just, just okay. I, I know, I have, to, I have to open a new spreadsheet. I have a new spreadsheet. No, I can't do that math on the phone. Dear Lord, no. All right, so. So, if it's 19.5 percent of the rest of the budget, that's only 29,835 dollars. So that periodical books and life and whatever is plenty high. Um, right. It's it's too high. I've got. 37 percent. So I did the adding up everything but the periodicals and divided by 8.5, it comes up to 17,647. Oh, it's what? He said 2.8. Yeah, because it, because. Because he's like rain. No, it, well, no, because 19.5. It's like, hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm running numbers myself. The, if you, um, with a six, with a sixty thousand um, dollar salary, and oh wait, and I got to. I'm gonna make a motion to recommend sixty. I have to back out the, and oh wait, and expenses are fifteen thousand. Are you okay? All right. So, well, not one hundred fifty thousand. Fifteen. Okay. So, without books, the right now the budget without library, without books, et cetera, is one hundred fifty thousand dollars and uh, a little bit more. So. Now you take that. So that's. Taking out of the expense budget. So. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't think so. Not if it's not in operating. Yeah, I got $150,000, $2.25. And then you divided it by what? Hold on. And yes, okay, those numbers triangulate. Okay, so 150000 yeah. you divide by 0 .805, and that gives you the total as basically that number is 80.5% of the total with the remaining 19.5% being books and periodicals. 
Okay. So you project what the total is, and then the difference between the projected total and everything but books and periodicals gives you books and periodicals, which is 36,336. I'm rounding up to next dollar. 37,000 in there, and like that. I can, that's, that's not a bad number. I mean, that's round, that's, that's, a, yeah, I was going to say, that's, that's, that's less than $1,000 more, and that gives us some, that gives us some wiggle room. So I could go with $37,000. That's consistent. Yeah, that's, I believe that's sufficient to keep us legally safe for the funding here. And it's always on top of that at the town meeting, like if, if the library budget, like last year it got changed and she, Yes. So one risk of pulling the electricity out of the library budget is the fact that the municipal appropriations requirement, this is the one that I was trying to remember, is that Which is what Marty was just saying. It's the average of the last three years, right, increased by two and a half percent in order to stay certified. So we have to take the last three years budget for the library. Yeah. Uh, 178, 168, and then I have 21. Hold on. I have uh, Beth, how much does it have to go up by? Two and a half? Two and a half. So, yeah, you have to take the average. I and think then we're safe. No. Yeah. yeah. So the um, bumps. As a safety so measure. Big bumps in salary. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and I guess salary. Yeah. Beth? Oh, yeah. You yeah. were at 138. Yeah. Beth, with the, um, our target number. Just one, a two and a half percent bump of last of fiscal year 23, which is conservative because the average of the last three years is lower than fiscal year 23, is 182,482. So that's kind of the if we go below that number, we're very close to the line, right. and and that. and we are over that even with her salary at 60,000 and the expenses at 15,000. So I th I think we're safe, but it's good to check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we should be fine. So I have it at 1870225 now. Is that what you got, Tom? Uh, one second. So that's that's with the 37,000$. Yep. 187002.25? Yep. All right. We are good. All right, so I I move that we amend our recommendation to a total, uh, as discussed, with a total of one eighty-seven, one hundred eighty-seven thousand two dollars and twenty-five cents. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. What was your total? Um. One eighty-seven zero zero two twenty-five. Yeah, and that's with thirty-seven thousand in expenses. 60k for library director wages. Um, Fifteen thousand for expenses. And um, the assistant at uh, the assistant was at wages was at fifty eight nine nine four twenty eight. That was at three percent. Custodian. Again? Custodian was whatever we had for recommendation. Um, Eleven thousand seven hundred twenty six dollars and ninety seven Yes. Do you have all but line by line? Yeah. All right. So I need a motion to amend our recommendation for the mm -hmm. library yes. director wages to sixty thousand, the library custodian wages to eleven thousand seven hundred and twenty six dollars and ninety seven cents, the library assistant wages to fifty eight thousand nine hundred and ninety four dollars. You have to go slower, I'm sorry. Fifty eight mm -hmm. Twenty eight cents. I have them all here, but we can copy from here. And then the Holiday vacation. Holiday vacation to $2,781. The library expenses to $15,000. The library books, videos, and periodicals to $37,000. And the longevity bonus to $1,500 for a total of $187,002.25. Second. Any more discussion? No. <laughs> Is that your final answer? <laughs> I, I will just um, make my own personal comment. I'm willing to go up, but uh, I will vote with, with the group at the moment. Uh, we'll see what happens. Can you me where is the here? I thought mm -hmm. they would say, no. for all the other judges. 
There's actually no, no account yet. There's a warrant article. We haven't paid it, but this is going to be contractual. So it can't be contingent on that warrant article. Mm -hmm. um, I move that we recommend a total of eleven thousand two hundred twenty dollars for uh, recreation expenses between the rec committee and South Pond Beach. Um, second. And the amounts are different because it pulled out the electricity. Mm -hmm. All right. Or, or, or. Well, she has a lot of electric bills. <laughs> yeah, lots of little ones all over the place. Trying to find them for. <sighs> I'd rather not think about that. Not at the town beach, at the recreation. Yeah, uh, Lewis Field, the Lewis Field Pavilion, and the, I believe they li illuminate the flag there. Zero point one three. They have a tiny little one. I'm sorry, what was that? Eight two two zero zero point one three. Eight two two zero point one three. I make a motion to amend our recreation expense budget to eight thousand two hundred and twenty dollars and thirteen cents. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 A
for the salt and dam um, principle, you have zero in there. Yeah. Yeah, it's gray, so. Yeah. Remember the number again, please? I have $8,000. I think we were on that little check. Yeah. Well, let's go again. Then for the fire mm -hmm. truck interest, we have $22,483.73. That's the one that changed like a week or two ago, right? Yes, and because we, we finally got the bond was sold, and so we knew what the real interest was going to be. That's why we have a different number in there now. I'm not, I'm not so close because it was 12483 before. Well, I don't know where the 12,483 came from because I don't have that number anywhere in my spreadsheet. So. I think that's what we had before we changed it to 22, but then I don't know why I lost the 22. But. I think it's just a typo, honestly. Yeah. Because I think you had the right number and you put in a 12 instead of a, a 1 instead of a 2 because all the other numbers match. Mm -hmm. um, all right, and then our other numbers match 32, 1, 7, 9, 2, 8 for the police station principal and the sawmill dam principal, 2,282.26. And again, zero for the common street interest because we're paying that off. So we have a grand total of $121,840.77. Did we already do that motion? Um, no. Um, I move that we have that we recommend a uh, total debt and interest of $121,840.77. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Yes. Um, I vote to recommend $8,267.50 for the salt mill dam principal. Is that right? And $22,483.73 for the fire truck interest. All in favor. Thank you. So the next one we had, the only place we differ is on the group health and life insurance. Mm -hmm. The number we got from the treasurer was prior to the insurance company telling us that it was going up eight and a half percent. So the seven hundred forty nine forty four is the actual number. Seven forty nine zero forty four? Yes. Because it actually went up 8.5%. So that's the group health and life? Yes. 8.7% jump is huge. Um, so I make a motion to amend our recommendation for group and health life insurance to $749,044. Second. All in favor? Tom, can I get a, a motion for uh, our assessments and uh, yep. other mandated expenses? Yep. Um, I move that we uh, recommend a uh, mandated total assessments and other mandated expenses a total of one million four hundred forty-six thousand five hundred sixty-four dollars. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Which just leaves us the water budget. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like the only difference is the dam electricity. The dam electricity. Mm -hmm. yeah, but it has nothing to do with the dam. That's yeah. involved in the interest <laughs> and the yep. debt. Mm -hmm. right. All right, so um, I, move, I move that we recommend a water department. Now, before we oh. do that, yes. the water department is semi pays for itself, right? So do you want to keep that in there? Or My. you want to keep it, I pull it out like I did with all the other departments. So they don't fully self-fund. Right. Um, the salaries and such come from the town. Okay. Because if we were to try to fully self-fund them, mm -hmm. they'd have to start charging the town back an enormous amount for their fire extinguishers and stuff like that. I okay. got that about five or six years ago and got a... Oh, I just didn't want to try to it without double checking. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, so they have their own accounts and they use it mostly for capital, but we don't, they don't actually self-fund their salaries. Okay. All right, so the electricity is out of that. So mm -hmm. my total electric, minus the electricity, is $43,420.23. All right, so I move that we recommend a total water department budget of $159,696.76. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I make a motion to amend our water department expense recommendation to 
<laughs> he always does. Keeping track at home, I believe that puts our operating budget at a total of nine million nine hundred ninety-nine thousand six hundred thirty-eight dollars and thirty-five cents. Four nine instead of what? Six three eight point three five. And all I can say is, the cherry sheet forecasts are looking favorable. That's not a promise from the state, but they're leading us on. They're looking favorable. They reduced it from last year. Mm, really? That's. Are you? Okay, that maybe. Am I misreading that? Let me find my sheet. And fiscal year, fiscal year 24, total, subtotal education 5.982 or 5.9. I, oh, I'm looking at all municipalities. That is my problem. There we go. Oh, I, I forgot to do that. Thank you, Kelly. Let me look. Uh, oh, wait. But we submit. two more rounds of votes, and it never pans out to the first two. Can I ask a question not to delay things, but um, do you have any information on levy limit or the, the top? Yes, I actually do. One more, please. Yes. Um, Kelly? Yes, sir. I'm still seeing okay. I'm seeing it go up from 23. The, the 24 estimates are higher than 23 on the revenue side. But the charges are higher. And they're actually not. Which, which one are you looking at? And the charge, uh, let's see. Which budget are you looking at? I, both um, the governor's and the house proposals are pretty close. They're both, um, they're both around 3.06 million which is about a $300,000 increase over fiscal year 23. And the expenses are going up $20,000 in the governor's budget, and they're going down in the House proposal. You're looking at Brookfield. Yeah. Brookfield, yes. Yeah, yeah he's correct, actually. Yeah. We'll see. So, so, like I said, they're not, that's, yeah. Uh, 2,000,000, 787, 788. I, I don't really believe you're correct. Huh? Yeah. I know, but I can look up the wrong numbers. With the current yeah. budget, the way it is right now, we have a living surplus of 90260 mm -hmm. Yes. It's a that's, surplus, right? That's right. I know, but I'm, I'm more looking at the, um, it's like, yeah, the, uh, the, the increase in school aid, I believe, offsets a lot of the increase, or most, of the in, most to all of the increase in the school budget and, and what we're paying for school. That, that means the rest of the increases we still have to cover. This also does not include the growth, which will also right. assist in mm -hmm. this number. Yeah, and, and we do have a very strong bill. So, I mean, you can pretty much guarantee another 50 plus. Right. Just one last question. Who would like to sign the transfer request? I don't think we can consider that since it's not on the agenda. That's okay, correct. What, where should I leave it um. to uh, resign? <laughs> <laughs> give, it, yes, uh, give it yes, give it to yes, give it to Karen and we will and we will have it on the agenda for our next meeting. Why why is this something that decided did you sign the last two that went through? Those were probably um, those weren't a transfer, I guess it was under that for the first time. So, oh, this is a transfer, not yeah. yes. a reserve fund. Never mind. Mm -hmm. do, we need, do we need an administrative meeting next week? 
but it's not um, budget. Well, weren't we going to uh, try and, uh, are we going to discuss the police contract? And we, yeah. if so, as not part tonight. of, no, not tonight, <laughs> but as part of the open session for that, we can bang that out yeah, real quick. Since right. we're going to be meeting anyway, why don't we sign it before we go into executive session? Yeah. I'm, I'm good with that. But <laughs> amen to not tonight. Well, it's going to be anyway. It's not on the agenda. Yeah, I know. Oh, of course. Yeah. All right. So, do I have a motion to adjourn? Um, yeah, it's like, I, I, I'm ready to give it to you. I just want to make sure they're good before we uh, throw that out there. Okay. 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 That's what we're going to do. Are you guys ready to adjourn? In a minute or two, yeah. All right. So, we can adjourn and be done. Okay. 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 Do you need us for anything? No. Okay. Yeah, but we can do it after we close Hold on. Yes, we can. Okay, um, motion to adjourn. Select board. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So, All right. So, what do we want to add to Ryan? Or add Ryan or do something? I, I'm sorry, I thought I responded. I didn't hear you respond. Okay. Because I, I thought I said. I thought I, I thought I, I okay. <laughs> All right. I am. So I, I, I have, I'm good any day next week. I do have an agenda question. Mm -hmm. Do you all want to do the reorganization prior to that?